All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shane. This is Shane's Games, and tonight we are playing Prince of Persia, specifically the 2008 version of the game. This is my very first time playing it on stream, so you're not missing anything. You're in a good spot. Thank you for what coming in tonight. But if you want to see any of the other games I've played on stream, look in my info below. You'll see a link to my YouTube where I archive all of my streams. So if you're looking to see some weird, obscure, or nostalgic games played start to finish, please go ahead and click on that and take a look. But for tonight, let's play some video games. You have a lot of bad and frustrating memories about uh, this game. I've I've played a little bit. The asking is yours. You know what it is that I ask. If you would have your wish, then give me mine. <laughs> hey there, Sabersage. Welcome into the stream. I think that's how you pronounce that. Unaware of the world around it, whirling on the breath of the gods, at the mercy of the storm that engulfs it. Farrah! What is one grain of sand <coughs> in the desert? One grain amongst the storm. Uh, no, Ivanovich, this is the last one, actually. It was an attempt at a second or third reboot, uh, but it was the only game of its sequence. Ow. Uh, so it's completely standalone, so you're not missing anything from before it goes in. <laughs> oh, they've got to reboot it eventually. Ow! Everything just keeps falling on me today. I told you she didn't come this way. Come on! Yeah, it's like they were kind of going for, like, cell shaded but they didn't go all the way. Hey, at least tell me your name! Alright, so, let's see, right stick to control the camera. I might have to mess around with the... Actually, I do want to mess around with the camera settings real quick, because... Um, when I was testing the uh, game... I thought this was where it said was the, uh camera menu. Maybe I'm crazy. You played it a bit? I played this about halfway through before. And then I didn't finish it because I got distracted because I'm easily distracted. <laughs> but I did play through at the halfway point now. I am eager enough to finish the game. Oops. I, I did enjoy the game enough that I want to play it a little more and try it out. Um, of course, I am terrible at video games, so there's going to be some falls like that one, and it's very easy for that to happen when you're uh, streaming and you get distracted, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so far the camera's not treating me well. I'm going to have to see if there's another camera mode I can switch to. Uh, I, you know, I think they might reboot this at some point, just because it's such a, you know, it's such a tentpole franchise for them. And while they had trouble with uh, the series, obviously the movie did not do well. Did not do well. This is from uh, 2008. Uh, about what? Nine years ago? Yeah, nine years ago. Hey! There's no need to get nasty. We can talk about this. Okay, so you're not a conversationalist. Now notice there he's saying we can talk about this, but he's got his hand on his sword the whole time. And right now what the game is doing is basically teaching us how the combo system works. And that's also what happens if you back somebody up against a wall, is they'll toss them away. Which does some damage, that's nice. Ooh, spooky magic powers. Yeah, and you can run too. Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm looking for Farah. I heard you yelling. You and your girlfriend should get out of here. Girlfriend? <laughs> Farrah's not my girlfriend. She's my donkey. You're risking your life for a donkey? She's a good donkey. That and she's carrying a king's ransom of gold. Ooh. Just get out of here. If they don't see you with me, you'll be all right. Hey, you! Well. 
want to time your advice better next time? And we're screwed. <laughs> he's not talking, he's running and jumping on stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Clearly he's the prince of parkour, which means that if you uh, want to enhance the stream, feel free to scream parkour every time I jump. I guarantee you it'll only make things better. Oops. Yeah, so what I have to do to run along walls is I have to jump right next to them. Which, right now I'm still fiddling around with the camera. Trying to figure out how to change the... If there's a good way to change the camera settings. I thought there was, but I'm not seeing it now. So we'll see. Uh oh. No, he's nothing to do with this. No! Saved. Uh, how did you? Whoa! I've got you. Hell yeah, magic powers. We better get out of here. How did you do that? I, I don't know. Right. And you being able to do magic isn't anything to do with why they're trying to kill us. They're not trying to kill us. They're trying to kill you. Okay, fine. Keep your secrets. But at least tell me how to escape. No, I, I can't leave. I've got to get to the temple. Dark magicka. Why why does it always go straight to the bang? You can put me down now. Release her. What? I have lost my donkey, fallen down a cliff and had a rock dropped on me. I'm not in a good mood. Release her. I'm not holding her hostage. Misunderstandings. Alright, so now more combo practice. Acrobatic combo is my favorite. <laughs> Didn't block in time. Ow. Jump over you. Beat up with a sword. And then he's like, no, I don't want none of that. Release her! <laughs> yes. Well, hey, maybe it's one of those two, Al. You don't know. It's all mysterious right now. <laughs> you go. I'll follow. <laughs> Let her go is not holding her. Alright, so I can talk to her at any time. Which pressing this. We need to go this way. And I believe she references which way I'm facing when she tells me which way I need to go, which is handy. And luckily she can pretty much do on her own, so I'm gonna let her do her thing and I'll do my thing. And that means that this game isn't a giant escort quest, because oh my god, that'd be tedious. So yeah, um, what is it? Oh, I'm more fighting. He says with his axe right out there. He doesn't say, hey, I'm okay, don't attack me, of course. And now, so I've got my sword and my gauntlet that I can both use to attack these guys. And that's also how you uh, counterattack, is you press block at just the right time. Which is very nice. Well, that escalated quickly. So, here you can change up your gauntlet and your uh, sword attacks. Basically, you've got three attack buttons, and you can mix them up to make all kinds of neat combos. And it is actually really nice. And that's how a counterattack works in slow motion right there. Very nice. And now we've basically learned all there is about my fighting. Well, running continues now. Hey, Spirit Walker! Welcome into the stream! How are you doing? Just gonna cruise down this cliff, because that's totally how this would work. You wouldn't go flying off or anything. The temple's there, under the tree. You guys worship a tree? Sure, why not? I am doing pretty good this weekend. How about yourself, Spirit Walker? <laughs> So, uh, I know uh, Ivana Witch was saying that you played this before. How about any of you other folks? Have you ever have any experience with uh, this Prince of Persia or any of the other Prince of Persia series? Um, I actually haven't played the reboot trilogy, the Sands of Time one. That's another one I need to get around to, assuming uh, 
I finished this one, but uh, I've, I've heard good things. I don't know if, how much they hold up after all the years, but I would like to try them out. Eating crackers? That sounds nice. <laughs> the Deco Tree? Oh, jeez. We're crossing games now. Alright, so you can see there's lots of good visual indicators of where you can climb in here. Get that end and push. What's in the temple? Just push. Pushing? There we go. I'm pushing, she's pulling. I can't see anyone following you. We should hurry. Alright, sure. Alright. Grip fall down. Oh, continue your falling. Well, if there's no goal, why is this Since time is supposed to be good. Armin, the big bad god of darkness, kills people, destroys cities, scares naughty children. Unless you want to see lots of dead naughty children, you'll help me fix this. All right, let's see what I can do. No promises. So again, this is all tutorial, showing how you interact with all the different parts of the environment. Under this seal. Ooh, nice looking seal. We're just going down there. Pretty tree. Hey, old man, you want to go? Do you want I to fight me? Father, no, I beg of you. Father? Well, this continues to get complicated. Hey, buddy. What you got? Well, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got jumping over your head and hitting you with a sword. Boom. Yep, just gonna keep jumping over your head and hit you with a sword. Because that is what works for me! You suck! No! Father, no! Don't hit the tree! No! The tree of Gondor! Oh, wow, that blew everything up. Magic powers. All right, so now I get a fourth button to use in combat, which is I can blast enemies. And I can combo that along with any of the other buttons, which is nice. Oop. And I've been hit. Your attack has been deflected, hold. Right trigger to block the counter attack. All right, easy enough. Ooh, ooh, he is aggressive. Oh. So I got a chance to save myself, but I pressed the wrong button because honestly, I don't remember where all the colors are in the Xbox controller. Your attack was out of range. Block the counter attack. Wow. So I'm doing really bad with this combat, but on the other hand, at least it's teaching me things. Ooh. So yeah, nothing is doing great damage to this guy, which is not spectacular. Oh, there. So there I got the uh, quick save, which is good. Ooh. Really got to be on my game for those uh, blocks, though. If I could get some counterattacks, that'd be sweet. Now you can see forcing him to the edge is a very good thing in here. All right, time to leave. Sorry, I'll catch up with chat in a second. Go, go. Oop, nope. Yeah. Well, like got... Alright, so let's... So now we got uh, evil shadow dudes to deal with. And of course, collapsing temple, also a bad thing. I just tried to double jump right there, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Hi, right, got another dude. 
Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, dang, I was trying to combo something I apparently didn't have there. Lots of attacks, wow. Trying to get him to the edge, but unfortunately that uh, went badly. There we go. Insta kill against the wall. I love that. All right, let's go. We're we're leaving. Pull the ring down. Hopefully, there's somewhere safe inside here. Oh, jeez. Nope, maybe not so safe. Oh, jeez, this room is going all kinds of bad. Whoop! Nope. Save me. Oh, yeah, we gotta keep going. Ooh. And we get that extra toss. That's another new move that we'll have to be using often for jumps. Sorry, catch up with the chat. Just a second, folks. Oh, hey, this looks dangerous. Well, crap. Relatives gonna try and kill us, or is it just your father who wants to end the world? Do you think I wanted any of this? Well, what do we do now? Presuming the great god of darkness doesn't just squish us flat. He can't have escaped yet, not fully. The temple must still have the power to contain him. Something's happened to the fertile grounds. If we can get to them, we might be able to stop Aramin escaping. The fertile what? This land was built to keep Aramon here. These areas feed the temple with life energy. The temple feeds the tree. We have to stop him. We have to get out of here. Fine, run. But you're not going to get very far. Oh, I was on my way home. I had more gold than you could. I'd have had wine, women. I'd have had carpets this thick. Now I'm stuck with an angry god and a crazy woman. Oh, all right. One of these things do we need to do whatever to? That feel when you got no choice but to stop the apocalypse. You know how it is. Fertile grounds in these areas. We need to. We can't reach them anyway. We'll have to get to these four. Then we can see what's happening. If I ever find that donkey, the carpet's this thick. This thick! Really was eager for those carpets. All right, so let me catch up on chat real quick. Um, I think is this, this is the world map. All right, so here is our map. Welcome to the map tutorial. Hey, folks. These lands, uh, these lands are locked. The ones with the black dots on them. You will need to activate a power at the temple before you can reach them. Power plates can be activated at the temple when Elika has enough light seeds, which are the collectibles of this game. You need to choose a destination. Use the cursor to highlight your chosen destination, then press the button to set it. All right, simple enough. All right, let me catch up on chat. Yeah, uh, combat does look really good, and I do think uh, they had sort of that Devil May Cry flow in uh, idea. And yeah, Assassin's Creed. Uh, and yeah, she just automatically saves you when you fall off a cliff or you get killed, but that does not mean you can't get game over in here. You can get game over... Um, if you do badly enough in a jumping sequence, or if you do badly enough against, uh, in combat, I do believe, uh, that is a thing. And yeah, that is why the game got a lot of flack. Everyone's like, oh no, too easy, babby game, casual game. And I don't know, just because you can't lose doesn't mean you automatically win. I think that's the important thing. A lot of people were looking at this as an action game. I see it more as a puzzle game. You know, just because, uh, you know, you, you have to still take the effort to figure out how to get through combats. You still have to take the effort to figure out how to get through jumping puzzles. And certainly, you know, if it was so easy, I would never get stuck. And you're going to see me get stuck on here, certainly, because there are some tough that is, uh, uh, there's some things in here that are pretty tricky to get through. And we will see what we can do with those. But uh, you'll, you'll see, you know, give the game a chance. I recommend that. 
And Al, uh, the thing why she can't uh, didn't uh, just fly is she can only fly for very short periods of time, and it exhausts her. So, like when he had to carry her at the start of the game, so he does. She doesn't ever want to expend that much energy if she doesn't have to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the protag gets how how dumb the story is. So thick. Those carpets so thick. Uh, and yeah, yeah, this is a, a big departure from the trilogy, but I think they just wanted to try something different after the trilogy. Yeah, certainly a lot of people wanted a continuation of the trilogy, but I think they, from what I understand, the trilogy ended pretty well. So I, I don't uh, necessarily have uh, any objection to them just leaving it like that. Yeah, the saving animation is a little intrusive, that's true. I mean, there is consequences. You guys will see. Like I said, it's it's not like you can't game over. You can't be punished for doing things. Don't you worry. You'll, you'll see when we get to it. I think it comes down to the thing of the game lets you live, you didn't save yourself. Well, as you saw in combat where it had those button presses, things go better for you if you get the button press. Um, so they, they have ways to, uh, they do have ways to penalize you. They do have ways for skill to come into it. Again, I think it'll make more sense once we actually get to, uh, some difficult areas like bosses. I think the bosses definitely show um, where you really have to put effort into things. All right, so let's see the path to my destination. And so this is kind of like the uh, little hologram interface in, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Dead Space showing you where you need to go to your next destination because there is a big map here and there is a kind of open world as you got different paths you can go after you there we go so every time it uh, blinks like this i believe you have new things to say to her although it's not always tremendously interesting but we want to check come on we're wasting time <laughs> yeah nothing interesting to say uh, for falling, having that button press like Sands of Time and the Rewind is definitely a better feeling than Game Doesn't Let Me Die. I mean, I think the reason I wanted to start like this is because, as I said, I am kind of shit at video games. <laughs> so I am... Whoops. I thought we were supposed to go over in this direction. Maybe not. So I don't... Uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys see uh, how it actually works in practice. I know it's, it's very easy to just see her grabbing... Uh, grabbing her and say uh oh that's that's pretty easy but i'll let you guys see and yeah there is the limited sand in there certainly i will say uh sands of time that mechanic does make it harder and you could say uh you know I, you wouldn't be wrong if you said it was more skill based as well you know there is a lot more applications of skill when you've got that kind of thing that you need to do all right so there's a tree thing here i don't know what's up with that right right I get, I get you a smile. No worries. Right, so nothing interesting here yet. Maybe I'll come back later and see what's up. It's not the right way. This is not quite the right way. Over here somewhere. Alright, through here. Yeah, I got a little distracted with the architecture. So yeah, this is kind of like an open world system. They got all those map nodes, and as you saw, there was a big web of uh, paths through all those map nodes. Wait. Whoa, hey, what's up? You know what it is that I ask. If you would have yours, then give me mine. They get any worse? They're the corrupted, Araman's chosen few. They ruled here a thousand years ago. That thing we saw, the darkness, that was. That was Araman. Little bit of story there. What was that? A dream? That thing we saw, the darkness, that was. That was Araman. If we saw Araman in the vision, doesn't that mean it's him creating them? It wasn't Araman. This is Ormaz's power. It is the temple protecting itself. Al, I believe he does have a name. No, he was a soldier of Armin. Some were trapped with him when he fell. How many soldiers is some? 
No one knows. Some scriptures talk of Araman falling with the four corrupted and a thousand followers. Let's hope they're off by a few hundred. If I remember correctly, he has a name, but she just hasn't bothered to ask him yet, which is pretty funny. The corrupted lived here when Araman conquered the city, but the fertile grounds weren't here then. The Ura built them to contain Araman. This would be the Araman we could hear in the temple? They know where we're going. What are these corrupted? Araman's chosen. They sold their souls to him in return for rewards. They will fight for him. They will fight to be free. The corrupted sold their souls. What's the going rate? Most who stood against him were killed, or turned into the creatures we've seen. Even some of those who sold themselves into his service just became some of Araman's creatures. The corrupted were different. They retained some of their free will, some of their soul, and Araman gave them powers to fight for his cause. The corrupted are free? They are still the person they were. At least, somewhere inside they are. But they are all Araman's puppets. Lots of exposition here. But I like knowing about the fluff. Alright, I think we're good. And Al, yeah, we will find uh, about more about the characters in the game and the mythology as we go through. Um, but for right now, uh, basically what they just talked about is all we know about the Araman and uh, Ormazd and everything. So basically we're going from the perspective of the prince in that we don't really know anything aside from that. Oops. Hello. Yeah, see those black walls there are walls that I cannot... Uh, walls that I can't touch, basically. So I can't run on anything with that black goo on it, so that's a big indicator. Uh, Durzak, yeah, I'm aware I haven't actually found a way to get it s to select the 2008 game. Um, ah, there we go. Gotta remember to d do that to hurl it off. I gotta pay attention because there's a lot of different uh, combos in this game that are important, so I gotta use the gauntlet thing to uh, jump over that. So yeah, uh, Durzak, I'll, I'll check tomorrow and see if there's some way I can get it to display the rect, uh, correct thing. But the problem is there are three games out there called Prince of Persia. And all I did is type in Prince of Persia, and that's what it gave me. So I'm not sure I've got enough to work with here. Oops. Alright, so with Wall Run, I don't have to jump up. He just pulls myself up. That's interesting. Obvious Bark, thank you for the follow there. How are you doing this evening? Alright, so I use the gauntlet button to hurl myself off those. That's good to know. Alright, where do we go from here? See this right here where the path splits? This is where it's important to have that little ability because that's possibly a way I come back or possibly there's something secret over there. But for right now, we'll just try this path and see how it goes. You're a fan of this game, Arbius Bark. Good to hear. Uh, this is uh, going to be my first time playing all the way through. I played about halfway through before and then got distracted by probably something shiny and never ended up finishing. So I'm eager to get all the way through now. I enjoyed what I played before, certainly. I thought it was uh, pretty chill. Oops. Gotta remember, I don't need to jump to pull myself up on ledges. There we go. But yeah, I, I really did enjoy what I play. I thought it, uh, Normally, I don't like platformers. But uh, this one, this one is really doing it for me. Uh, some of the puzzles get pretty devious later on, too. Uh, some of the jumping puzzles, anyway. Alright, and then from here... You'll get, I believe, more abilities as we go through the game. I think, if I'm remembering correctly. But for now, you see... Entering the Citadel. If the corrupted return to their places... Yeah, right now you're kind of seeing the uh, the different flow and the different things they can do with the the ways I already have to move around the game. I get the feeling we're not alone here. Once we reach the fertile ground, we should be safe. All right, good deal. You see the hunter? We can't worry about him. Let's get to the top of that tower. I also like RE4 DMC and FF13. I like the games that make their fans angry. Well, I don't think just because it uh, ticks people off, it automatically makes uh, it bad. Alright, so that's our mission, getting to the top of the tower. However we can. 
And see, RE4, I enjoyed RE4. It was a big departure from the series, and that frustrated me at the time, but uh, it's not... It's totally a bad game. I will say I hated the escort part of it once you get Ashley. Whoops. Nope, that's not it. Um, DMC, I haven't tried yet. I played the old Devil May Cry, I just haven't tried the new one yet. Oops. Oops. No, that isn't it. Hmm. Don't think that's the way to go. Over here, we can't get that way. So... Maybe we should not have come over here in the first place. Oh, wait. Oh, I said to jump on the vines. Oh, there we go. Vines. Uh-oh. I hear something angry. That's not good. There we go. Vines. Of course, what's a uh, platforming video game without vines to climb on? Let's see, FF13, I played a little bit of that one, but I just, uh, the only reason I stopped that one is because I just didn't have time, but I think, honestly, some adding some automation to the Final Fantasy series wasn't a bad thing, in my opinion. Um, I think I probably would have dropped out of Final Fantasy uh, as a series if they didn't have the automation features that they ended up adding in, uh, 13. Otherwise, some of the fights can get really tedious, let's be honest. If you try and play uh, Final Fantasy VII, you know, trying to go back to it, I really think it ends up feeling pretty frustrating today, just because of the just the constant uh, uh, random battles that you're always doing, and so often you're fighting enemies that uh, oops, fighting enemies that you've fought before, and it's not really a whole ton of effort to fight them. And in that case, that's where the automation really comes in. Zero, hey, thank you for the post there. Uh, welcome into the stream. Always good to see you. Uh, which Devil May Cry do, do I like? I've played one and three. Roof run, hello. Right, so I can run on the roof sometime. I forget about that. Now, I've played one and three, and I liked both of those. I have two. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard the American version is actually pretty hard. And considering how hard... Uh, one and three were for me. I'm not sure how that well that's going to go for me. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> you got to specify these things, Al. No worries, though. No worries. Now you know for me, too. Everybody's learning today. <laughs> yeah, DMC, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, seemed interesting enough. Ooh. We got something in here. Uh, which reboot? Has there been like two Devil May Cry reboots at this point? We'll be fine. Will we? He looks kind of like a badass. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Ooh, he's fast. Ooh, wow, he is really fast. All right. Alright, managed to save myself with that one. Always nice. Alright, so he's gonna be tough to counter, is what I'm getting here. Ooh. Oh, shoot! Alright, forgot about that happening. Little be uh, sword clash there, and I totally wasn't paying attention. I absolutely lost that one. Alright, cool. Save myself there again. Alright, at least I blocked that one. That would've hurt. Big combo! Lots of combos there. Alright, now we're getting it, man. Force him back! There we go. Alright, so we got some uh, good damage in on him there. Because we won the uh, the clash, so these ones don't automatically die when you press them up against the wall. Is what you're seeing, but you can do the good damage if you win the, the clash with them, which I'm gonna try and do. And he escapes, bastard! I'm not sure. You're not. Hello? What, what you up to there, Elika?
Healed stuff. And now there's glowy orbs all over the place. What was that? How did you? Hey. Ooh. Nice. So he's trapped. No. We must heal the other fertile grounds. And there's shitloads of them, of course. Whoa! Yeah, you're in fine shape for that. The light seed. Take me to a light seed. Those are the glowy orbs. One of sixty. Thank you. You need these things? I felt I did. I didn't know what to do when we reached here, but I knew Ormals would show me the way. Yeah. Let's hope he keeps having bright ideas. Then let's pick up some more of these light things. Elika needs light seeds to activate a power at the temple. Each power will allow you to unlock a new land. Because I didn't give it to you. I am. There's your answer to that question, I suppose. The furthest you've ever been away from here. You were there. The end of that canyon? Where would you go if you could? The ocean. What's it like? Well, in the desert you feel alone. You survive the desert. But you live the sea. I'd be careful, princess. You see that? You might not come back. What's it like being a princess? Tiring. Simple. Why do you wear that scarf? It's lucky. I didn't think you believed in that sort of thing. I don't. But maybe it believes in me. Alright, simple enough. Alright, let me catch up on chat. Ah, uh, let's see. DMC is the one made by Ninja Theory, but I like 1 and 3 too. I also really like 4 despite the recycled boss fight. Uh, no, I haven't tried four, so I'm not sure which that one is. Uh, let's see, two is the only one you didn't enjoy. Yeah, two, for anyone that doesn't know, the biggest problem with two was that, uh, for some reason, uh, Japanese hard difficulty was the American normal difficulty. So it's uh, really, really a challenging game. And I don't know why they made that change, I really don't. Three is probably the hardest? Um, I don't know. Yeah, the Prince Protagonist, there you go. So, here's what has just happened. I, uh, since I purified this place, what's happening now is that, uh, oops. Yeah, since I purified this place, there are no enemies, but now it becomes a jumping puzzle, basically. Is I have to go around and collect light seeds. Now, I don't have to collect every light seed. You see that's 7 of 60. And that doesn't mean there's 60 in total to, to get. What that means is I need to get 60 in order to get to the next location. So I'm going to grab what I can from here, because the more I grab, the sooner I can get into the next area. Splinters are us right there. Yeah, I know. I always wonder when video games characters do that. I'm like, that looks really intensely painful. <laughs> But what do I know? Alright, so we've got our next destination, but like I said, I'm going to dick around here for a little bit, grabbing light seeds. You can also see the hitboxes of light seeds are pretty generous, which is nice. Basically, all they expect you to do is go down the right path, and as long as you can do that, you should be alright. Oops. Ooh. 
thought I could make that. Too far out, did I jump far enough? Good luck with the puzzle, you sausage-handed oath. Always good to see you in here, Seavich. <laughs> Your support drives me forward. You're the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> Shade has big meaty claws. Gigantic. Humongous. It's a wonder that I can even grab onto small things like an Xbox controller. Doesn't make any sense to me. It must be magic. See, I try not to, but sometimes my mind goes to the practicality of the game. I know, I'm that kind of nerd. I feel you there. So you can see there's that white sheen on the screen whenever I'm at a jump that's a little bit too far to get. So that's a good indicator. I appreciate that. And... Alright, there's a few more up there. I don't think there's any more in this direction. I may as well check over here. Ah, yeah, there are some over here. <laughs> that mod, of course. <laughs> Only the finest mods for my channel. Now, that right there, Seavich, is uh, a very good friend of mine, despite all appearances. And also the person who made all of my uh, channel graphics. So if you like that, that's the, the one that's responsible for all of it. And if you don't like it, well, what are you doing here? How do you, how do you not? How do you not? That's what I gotta ask. All right, and... Oop. Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Just call me radio, it's very confusing. Yes, uh, see which right here uh, used to be radio before uh, getting a new account just days before Twitch introduced the ability to change names, so R.I.P. So yes, welcome in, radio. Good to see you. What they did is get someone with hands as big as me to test it first. Well, that's handy. Very smart on their part. I applaud them for that. Very industrious. I have an itchy trigger finger. I'll time you out for blinking. Exactly. Nothing but savage, uncontrolled bands here today. <laughs> Alright, I think... What I need to do is get up higher, so... Oops. How do I get up to that now? I got up to that before, didn't I? Right, I need to get up to the higher platform. Alright. I can do that. Just have to go back a little bit. <laughs> Rip me. Can I breathe without a ban? I wouldn't risk it, honestly. Just just hold your breath for the next uh, three hours. You should be good. I think that's probably the safest way to go about it there, Spirit. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Oops. Nope. 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 <laughs> Wrong button. My bad. Right, which way was I even going there? Alright. Definitely was supposed to hit uh, the shoulder button to skid down there. But nope, just hurdle myself off into the abyss. Sure, that's close enough. If I die, tell my kids they must pay for my grave. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. <laughs> Such a loving gesture. Beautiful last words. Absolutely touching. I'm efficient in my spare time. I'll be okay. Sounds like a nice uh, spare job. How's the pay? You get uh, good benefits for that? Decent insurance? Overtime? Sounds nice, though. There's more stuff against that wall, but there... Alright, I just need to get higher to get to the more seeds is basically what I'm seeing here. So, yeah, we should... Uh, you know, let's talk about reboots overall, since uh, I know in cases like this, reboots have definitely caused uh, some people unhappiness, haven't been a real fan. But, you know, in a lot of cases, I think series need reboots, just because if they keep following the old mechanics, there really isn't anything left to do. You know, sometimes a game has, uh, in a sense, said everything there is to say. Oops. And Prince of Persia, from what I understand from the uh, original reboot trilogy, the Sands of Time trilogy, they'd pretty much done everything that needed to be done with the mechanics. Oop. What am I missing there? 
I know I can kind of understand why they'd call the Resident Evil 1 HD a reboot because it changed the mechanics so radically. Nope. What am I missing there? I thought I was supposed to hit the gun. Am I not hitting the right key? I might not be hitting the right key. I think I need to. Yeah, I got it. No worries. Let's go on. Yeah, I can understand them calling it a reboot just because, like I said, uh, mechanically so much was changed. And so they, you know, they'd want to let people know, hey, this is this is way different from uh, the previous Resident Evil games. And I appreciate that. Really, Resident Evil started out as a survival horror. And it isn't, or it hasn't been that, oh, except for 7, I suppose. Seven's almost just straight horror, not even survival horror. But, uh, yeah, RE 1, 2, 3, and Code Veronica were all, uh, survival horror. And then you get to 4, 5, and 6, which are more basically just third-person action. Dang it. I need a near-death counter. I think we'd get some buffer overflow if we did that. <laughs> just way too many near-deaths, I think. RE7, let me tell you, I, I tried a little bit of it in VR and I was absolutely blown away. And I'd like to try more, but even outside of VR, I think uh, RE7 is a really great game. Honestly, I can't say enough good things about it. I see that symbol up there and I see the outside of the walls, but I'm not sure how to get to those. I see some more seeds. Ooh, that might actually be a path over there. All right, all right. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Grab onto that. Let me go ahead and slide on down. And we're gonna go this way now. You gonna poop your pants? That might be a little excessive, but hey, do what you gotta. Don't let me tell you what to do. Maybe sometimes, actually. I don't want to rule out any possibilities. So yeah, I, you can always come back to these areas to get more light seeds. So even if I wanted or needed more, I don't necessarily have to do that. And yeah, what they're saying is if you see a little uh, blackness somewhere, then if you charge in quickly enough, you can stop the enemy before it spawns, which is nice. That means you have to fight a few less enemies if you're quick enough, which I'm not. But I'll try. I will try. Coast down this. Grab onto that. Grab onto that. And I was not nearly quick enough. <sighs> Thought I was going to be able to jump over him there. Alright, got him up against the wall. Insta kill, nice. Kind of wait until the exclusive VR timer runs out. What do you mean by that? I think you can play, uh. I mean, you can play it on Steam without the VR, certainly. I think the, uh, I want to say the PlayStation version also comes with the non-VR version. But I could be wrong. Alright, so this isn't the way I want to go to get to the next area. I don't know where this leads, actually. I've got a suspicion where it leads now that I think about it. And it's to an area that I don't have unlocked, so there's no good point in coming this way. So we'll go ahead and start heading back. And there's another light seed we can grab, at least another one. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Go ahead and grab that. Oh yeah, PS4 for uh, VR is the oh, so they have a uh, they have an exclusivity thing uh, as far as PS VR, and there's going to be on other VR systems possibly. That I didn't hear about. Oops, that'd be pretty cool. Only played the first one, so I don't know how the other games are. Well, feel free to stop in and uh, let me know what you think. This is a very divisive game, certainly. There was a lot of people that really didn't like this because of the additions. Um, certainly, uh, from what I understand, it is easier than the other Prince of Persia games. A little more relaxed, a little more chill, but I'm down with that. Oop. Ah, I missed my button press. I got the save button, but not quite in time. There we go. You gotta watch for when the screen gets that uh, white filter on it. Alright, here we go. 
Oculus and Vive plans to release soon after the VR timer runs out. Ooh, that is cool. I might actually be interested in that because after playing RE7 a little bit in VR, honestly, I'm, I'm feeling bullish on VR. I want to see what else there is. And I want to see what's going to be done with it. Resident Evil 7 is the game that basically single-handedly convinced me that VR is going to be a viable option in the future. Although there was one other game I've played in PSVR already, which is uh, Eve Valkyrie, a uh, space shooter. And uh, it's really good too. Like after I played it, I'm like, all right, so what I'm getting here is... Uh, oh, oh yeah, I am hitting the wrong button for that, damn it. Yeah, Eve Valkyrie, and once I played it, I'm like, space shooters were clearly always meant to be played in VR. Because uh, just the ability to look around the cockpit and see things from different angles is such a game changer. Alright, climb down here. Alright, so this uh, cavern-like area, you'll see this sometimes. This represents a transitional area. This is what's going to take us from one... One of those big dots on the map to the next one, which doesn't mean it doesn't have its threats, doesn't mean it doesn't have its puzzles. Um, but in general, it's not going to be as threatening as the actual levels themselves. It's more about just getting from point A to point B. So no bosses in these mazes, nothing like that. Still... Oops. Still, it is. It can be a challenge to navigate sometimes, and as with anything else, they'll get harder the further we go on into the game. RE7 convinced you when Oculus came out. I thought that VR would be the next big step in gaming. I still haven't gotten to try an Oculus, so I'm a uh, a little behind the times in that respect. Kretz left. I would enjoy trying out uh, Oculus. I want to try out all the systems, but uh, PSVR. Um, the, the head tracking, I think, was a big thing for me. The ability to uh, look around. Uh, I don't know that all the systems do that specifically, or I don't know exactly how all of them handle it, but the use of the camera on the PSVR system, I think, had some nice possibilities along with it. All right, so it wants me to wall run here. I was thinking I had to long jump. So again, you're seeing it's uh, using puzzles in different ways than we've seen them before. So it's trying to kind of give us a little primer, show us how it wants us to move through the areas. Also, you can see it's got a darker uh, color palette in this area. That's going to mean that we haven't cleansed this area yet. So we are officially in a new area now, or at least the transition part of the new area. And so we've got to get to the end and cleanse this one. A virtual reality, uh, Al, sort of like those uh, headsets where you can play games and see around in 360. Um, look up Oculus Rift or uh, PSVR uh, if you haven't heard of it. There's some cool stuff out there right now. All right, I see vines. Is this where you want me to go? Up here? Ah, yeah, there's more vines up this way. If you like PSVR head tracking, Oculus VR head tracking is a million times better. I may have to check that out then. I mean, right now there is so many VR solutions that it's hard to know precisely which one you should go for. And honestly, I think at this point it's kind of like a Blu-ray and HD DVD, where if you buy into anything, you're taking a big risk. I would kind of like to wait a bit and see. Up on that plateau. We can use the vines to get up there, then make our way across. Make our way across to what? Let's find out. I would kind of like to wait a bit and see which one comes out the winner, but there's no telling how long that'll be. What are all these? Pipes? When Araman took the city from the Ura, the alchemist conducted his experiments here. He used prisoners to build these things, and as subjects for his experiments. Well, that sounds grim. Scary guy, this alchemist, though. He can make the corruption act for him. He shapes it. Makes it become what he wishes. There was a potter I knew like that. Things she could do with her hands. <laughs> Real classy gent. Experiments. They were for science. It means polymaths, alchemists, astronomers. Colorful things that go bang and lots of numbers. See? Even I read a book once. Science and alchemy. 
help in science. Interesting subjects. We didn't turn lead to gold. Sorry. Yeah, it does kind of depend on uh, what kind of games you play, that's true. Uh, and budget is a big thing too, but I think once we start seeing them drop out of... Uh, once we start seeing some of them drop out of the market, that'll be a big thing. Or if there's... If a standardized API that can more easily utilize more than one comes out, that'll be a game changer as well. <laughs> Hands, Digital Fox, yes. Yeah, so like first person but lifelike. It's like it's it's supposed to simulate more accurately you actually being inside of the game. It's really a difficult experience to describe, I think, until you've actually tried it. I thought I had a good grip on how it would feel, but once I tried it, it was just a whole different experience. Uh oh. Just lost our way out of here. Oh shit. We can't keep above the corruption, we'll lose more than that. Oh, there's sludge now. That's not good. Corruption better not be rising like this everywhere, or we're in even deeper trouble. Not exactly polite. He hardly knows us, and he's trying to kill us. We'd better get higher. <sighs> this sandstorm's got nothing on this. All right. So now, instead of having pits below us, we've got the corruption. And that's hella gross, so we gotta stay out of that. Whoop. And we saw those slidey things back there, but I suppose they're being careful in case you hadn't seen them before. There are occasional reminders in the game for mechanics, which is really nice, because honestly, some things like using the gauntlet to swing on, uh... Using the gauntlet to swing on rings isn't always super easy to remember. So I definitely uh, appreciate the reminders if nobody else does. Vive is the best product, but I think PSVR is going to bring more people to VR because it works well and has a cheap cost and it is on a system that's widely used. That's very true, because the problem with uh, PC VR is you tend to ha need to have a pretty good system. <laughs> you tend to need a pretty good system to run uh, VR, so I'm not sure everybody is going to be able to... Uh, just run it with the PCs they have. So you're right, I think PSVR, since all you need is a stock PS4, is going to be a big factor as far as uh, what we see becoming popular. It'll be interesting, there is a lot of... Too many dollar dues yes. Um, VR is still too many cables as well, it's true. I, I want it, but honestly, I don't think with the game selection out there right now, I can justify it. I Oops. Oop. And that's what happens when you fall into that. So, again, I think with like any what like what I do with any system, I'm going to kind of wait until there's enough games out there that I can really say, all right, I can just buy a shitload of games and I'll be good. Hey, step away from there. Oh, that worked well. There you go. Oops. And boss fight. Hey, buddy. What's up? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Shoot. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta. I, I really need to watch his attack patterns before I jump in. You can tell I'm not a Dark Souls player because I'm not at all interested in his attack patterns. There we go. That's a good combo right there. Let's see if I can push him up against the wall. Nope. He does not let me push him up against the wall. The asshole. Oh, nice counter. Oop, and he countered my counter. That asshole. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Let me go. Don't, you, don't, don't, no. Oh, I lost it. Ow. No, 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 no. Alright, now notice he heals a shitload of health when I have to get rescued like that. So that's one of the mechanics that they use to balance out the auto-saving. It, it sets me back a long way when he does that. Oops. 
So these uh, battles don't ever actually have to end. As I said, there is no auto win in the game. Come on. Nice! Now that should teach you something. Spoiler alert, he's not dead. Be alert. He might return. Go work your magic. He'll be back later, and even harder. That sounded really bad. Oh yeah, I gotta mash the button, can't just do it. Fertile ground number two! Alright, let's hear some more exposition and then I will catch up on chat. I apologize for not keeping up with chat as well as I normally do. Games like these kind of demand a lot of attention, or at least for me. <laughs> I'm not great at multitasking when it comes to this. Which is another way of saying if I wasn't paying attention to chat, I'd be much better at this. Looks like we have a way out of here. The Ura produced scientists, mathematicians, artists, poets. This was a place the most learned people in the world sought to come to. And now it's... Now it's this. Well, I think I'd rather face the alchemist again than have to talk about poetry. Damn. Joe Visitor, hey, thank you for the host right there. How are you doing this evening? Don't worry, princess. I'll help you out of this mess. Alright, so once again, we're doing this. I beat the boss for now. He'll be back. And now we have to go around gathering up more light seeds. Alright, let me check uh, catch up on chat real quick. Uh, yeah, latency is a problem with VR as well, uh, although when I was playing the PSVR I didn't really notice too much of a problem, or at least not enough to really affect my uh, enjoyment of the game. Uh, yeah, the battery thing is a problem as well, certainly. Uh, let's see. A boss equals shake that, shake that booty. Uh, no, this is a completely new protagonist, uh, Kratzlaff. As far as I know, this has no connection to the other Prince of Persia games whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, like Smile said. I'm doing good, Joe Visitor. Thank you for asking. This is uh, my first time playing this game on stream, so... Uh, always good to try something a little new out. I'm enjoying myself. I've played about halfway through this game before, but I haven't beaten it, so I am going to attempt to rectify that uh, with this uh, playthrough. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I remember mostly enjoying it. Some of the puzzles can get a little frustrating, but I don't think uh, put that on the game. I put that more on my terrible, terrible platformer skills. Alright, so the game wants me to choose a new destination again. So we're going to go to the adjacent one, of course. And then we will unlock some new areas with that, I suspect. Alright, but we're not going to go to the destination immediately again. We're going to collect some light seeds, make sure we can unlock those powers as we're going along. Now, if I remember correct, this game doesn't even have a tremendously good reward for 100%ing it, so there really isn't any great reason to 100% it. And I don't really 100% games anyway, so that's just how we're doing that. But, again, we do need some to move forward, so I can't ignore them entirely. And I do want to save time by getting as many as I can. Ooh, that's right above me. Oops, nope, not that way. I remember letting my friend uh, play it and enjoying it through proxy, kind of like now. Oh, God, you're enjoying it, Joe. Yeah, this is, uh, among platformers, this is actually a pretty chill game, I think. Um, as I said, it's it was got a lot of flack at the time for being easier than the other Prince of Persia games, but as somebody that sucks at platformers, I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> Only masochists like to 100% all games. You know, some people just have the skills. They got the time, they got the skills. If you're capable of 100%ing some games, I got mad respect for you. No lies. You know, do what you are good at and don't let anybody tell you not to. That's what I say. Some seeds this way, but let's see what else we can get in this area first. I let YouTube autoplay for a long ass time, and right now it's playing 3AM Eternal. <laughs> we didn't start here. I don't know how I got here. 
<laughs> That's the magic of YouTube there, Radio. It's magical. Only reason to 100% is if it gives you all your money back. Oh my god, I, I would definitely be a 100% streamer if that was the case. I'd buy all games at launch day for a full $60 USD price and would just 100% the shit out of all of them. <laughs> I not, may not be good at video games, but I would find a way, Kratzlaff. I would find a way. Oh, not a lot of light seeds over in this area. But I see some up ahead, so we'll keep going this way. It is the fate of YouTube gods. Yeah, once you start going on YouTube and you let it autoplay, you, you end up in strange places sometimes. Though that really is the magic of YouTube. You never quite know where you're going to end up. And sometimes, sometimes it's wonderful. Sometimes it's terrifying, not going to lie. Sometimes YouTube takes you to scary places, skip places you don't necessarily want to be in. But that's uh, the thrill of it, the adventure. You never know. You gotta take risks to get big rewards sometimes. Oh god, I don't let YouTube autoplay. I did that once for eight hours. It was scary. <laughs> I can't even imagine where you would get to after eight hours of autoplay. Although, in my head, I like to imagine that all roads lead to Poka. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Let me dream. <laughs> that right there, but I'm not sure how to get to it. Let's uh, cruise around the center for a little bit. And then once we do a circuit over here, we'll see where we're going to go next. Or this is pretty much, yeah, this is pretty much getting us back to the beginning. So I think we might just uh, check here where we want to go next. I'm down with that. And jump. Alright. And now we're back to the boss battle platform where we started. Now, so I can see some more over there. Not completely certain how to get over that way. And that way doesn't take me to it. It looks like... Uh, see some platforms over that way too. But I think there's a whole path in here that I'm missing. That's interesting. Go. I got the stuff that was like in the beginning of YouTube. I swear no normal person should see. <laughs> now I'm interested. I, I was scared off before, but now you have sold me on it, Digital Fox. Thank you slash damn you. <laughs> we'll see how well that works out if I actually try it. Of course, you need uh, eight hours of spare time to try it, so that's going to discourage me a bit, but not totally. I'll tell you that much. The time thing will set me back, but uh, not totally. Alright, where are we going from here? Over this way, I guess. Alright. Rip mind. Instead of six degrees from Kevin Bacon, it's six degrees from Poke YouTube version. And the funny thing about that is that's a game that you always lose. <laughs> meow, meow, I am a cat, and that is that. Beautiful. You just put that on loop. You don't even need to. Uh, don't even need to let it auto run for eight hours. Once you've got that, you're pretty much done. You're set. All right, so we we'll go this way, and we'll almost be at sixty light seeds by the time we get there. That's pretty awesome. So we'll have their new power very soon. Careful. I'm all right. Saw a snail eat a worm today. It was super fast. Wow. I that's that's kind of gross, but I'm. Nonetheless, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Isn't that just how it works, though? Alright, I'm going to double back and grab this one, too. Oop. Oh, so they wanted me to jump across to the other side, I think. Except that doesn't work. Nope. Alright, I'm just stuck in a loop, aren't I? Need a song request, some background music. Well, what makes it hard to do uh, the the background music is because I uploaded on YouTube, and YouTube was, of course, very touchy about music copyrights. So if I don't want to get dinged by YouTube, uh, I kind of can't have song requests, unfortunately. I'd love to, but uh, you know, once once you'd have to serve two masters like that, it makes it really difficult. Oh, don't worry about copyright. Oh, now I'm scared. <laughs> I'll check that out in just a second. I imagine it's something terrifying. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not 
terrifying. Let me get over somewhere safe. Right here looks semi-safe. 56, that is not bad. Let me save the game too, because I haven't actually done that, I don't think. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let's see what this video is right here. See how disappointed I'm going to be in you. That's say eight minutes long. That definitely does say eight minutes long. Oh my god, those graphics. Why would you do this thing? <laughs> Why would you do this? Watch 30 seconds of the link and you already need therapy. I'm feeling you there, Kratzlaff. I'm probably going to watch the full thing later just because... I don't know, masochism? I don't think there's another explanation for that. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in your head forever, isn't it, Radio? That's your new life now. Just uh, meow, meow, I'm a cat. That's just how it works out. I can sense it. That's that's the case. You don't need to say it. I know. Alright, so we're moving on to Area 3 now. You can see we're back in a corrupted area. And as you can see, the corruption on the walls makes these areas actually a little difficult going through the first time than they are in subsequent tries, which is an interesting mechanic. Just gluttony, glutton for punishment. There you go. That works too. Now it's stuck on all of you. You're all infected. I regret nothing. Enjoy that. Enjoy your new cat song lives. You can never go back now. This is all there is now. Just cat song forever. <laughs> Joe! And the dragon. <laughs> well, good to know. I feel like I know you so much better, Joe Visitor. I feel like we've connected. We are now as if brothers. <laughs> Al, you click on a, a link from uh, from radio there at your own risk. Ah, oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. Must have been at the uh, turnoff to the junction. I thought I was going the right way there. Yeah, I know we're going back this way. Alright, so we'll come this way later. Right now, what uh, that's telling me is this will just lead to a locked area, and no sense in going there until we get it unlocked. Just going to be a big old dead end. <laughs> meow, meow. You're just loving this there, Radio. You're eating this up. Your tears only make her stronger. <laughs> let's see. Seen that people have issues with the PSVR and the head tracking because the whole world pulsates in and out. Oh my god, I, I'm getting a headache just thinking about that. I don't think I could deal with that for more than uh, about 10 seconds. Don't see any disclaimers on the link? No, no, the disclaimer is life. The disclaimer is beware always. Where are we now? It's part of the royal palace. You lived here? Just you and your father? Most of the people who remained lived here. First the veil was abandoned. The citadel fell into decay. Then the city emptied. Only the palace remained. Spooky place for only a few people. It's not ghosts we'll find here, it's illusions. The concubine will be waiting for us. So the cool thing now is by crossing across the four arms of the game, we're getting to learn a little bit about the four big bosses of the game, which is nice uh, right off the bat. How do we get across here? The corruption must have taken the bridges that were here. We'll have to go the hard way. What was this? Your wine cellar? The cavern was here before the city was built. After the palace was complete, they sometimes used this space for royal performances. Music, plays, great thinkers, magical words. All were once heard here. Sounds nice. I've never been to a performance. Never seen a play. They're full of adventures, stories, and ideas. Dreams of what people can be. There's a whole world of adventures out there, Princess. You should spend more time with those than in here imagine. You like a good story, but if the only place you saw the outside world was here... Ideas are important. Ideas are only as strong as the sword they hold. Not everything can be fixed by hitting it with a sword. True, but you can fix everything else with a lot of money or a little love. You can think about locking Armin away, but unless we use a sword as well, he escapes. And without reason and courage to guide that sword, then all will die and be laid to waste. 
The concubine sold her soul to Arm like the other corrupted? No one knows who she really was. I don't know if even she does. Armin gave her the power of illusion. She could become who she wanted to be, make people believe whatever she wanted them to believe. Spooky. Can you cast illusions? If the concubine can. I don't know. These powers are growing and changing. I don't know what I will be able to do, or if they'll just stop. They won't stop. Or Maz, if you're out there, don't let them stop. <laughs> Hope springs eternal. If you and the concubine can both use magic. My powers come from Ormaz, hers from Araman. We have nothing in common. Well, that's settled. Is there any chance your writings tell us how to spot one of the concubine's illusions? The only method is to break the illusion, literally break it through contact. But even that isn't foolproof. Good, good times. Right, let me catch up on chat here. Go tanks! I, I can't promise Joe Visitor that I'll be able to pull off the fusion dance, so do be warned in advance. Jeff from Giant Bomb played it for a few minutes and he was like, nah, that's weird. I played it for close to an hour and I didn't actually have any issues with it like that. I mean, I suppose it's bad. He, he got a bad unit, or it could be the, the way it interacted with the specific game he was playing. Um, but yeah, if it is uh, jittery like that, I'd think that would be something that could be handled through software. Just a firmware update. Oops, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, uh, Kratz, she did say concubine. <laughs> it's, so we got the alchemist, the hunter, and the concubine are the three bosses we've heard about so far. As I get the junk out of my eyes so I can continue playing without picking at it. See, it was funny how these areas were like meant for your special infiltration and then also disintegrated so you could only go in one direction. Isn't that handy? I love that. I appreciate these architects. The bridges that linked the platforms have gone. We'll have to use those roof columns to get across and then drop down. Instead of climbing up this time, we are going down. <laughs> you clicked on the link, Digital Fox! <laughs> now it's a part of you. You'll never forget that song. You'll remember it forever and always. <laughs> a waifu talking about waifus. <laughs> exactly. One of the one of the bonus features of the game right there. Whew. That is some stunts right there. I'll leave those to him. I don't think I could pull that off. And we are going the wrong way now. Oh, we had to go across those pillars, not these pillars. Dang it. This is almost as bad as YouTube hell. You're in YouTube hell now. You've always been in YouTube hell. That's where you live now, Fox. Oop, nope. Had to get down there. Yeah, I know they have put out, uh, they must have put out a few software patches by now, so it, it could have been fixed. It's hard to say. But hopefully, hopefully. Obviously, that's kind of one of those things that day one, I'm sure they're thinking about fixing, if nothing else. Don't mind being the fat Gotenks. He is pretty funny, at least. There is uh, something to be said about comedy value. Alright, this is the pillars I'm supposed to be going down. Other ones are just to uh, get to the other traversable areas. Oh, hey! No. That was an illusion. We found one! Got, got out of the illusion, guys. Princess. Oh, jeez. Oh, Help you relieve the pain. Uh-oh. Ah! Gotta get up to her somehow. Looks like, looks like this way. Strange that they're not subtitling her while she's talking there, but whatever. Alright. I think we're on the right track now. Let's go kick some concubine ass. Just closer to the wall. Hey concubine! Oh, that was an illusion. Tentacle bondage. Now we're getting to the interesting part. Watch out for her illusion, Prince or Papa. 
Looks like we're just going back up here and then the other way. Yeah, we'll get her. Real shame she there in subtitling what she's saying. It sounds interesting. And fun. So now we got slides. They look kinda icy too, that's interesting. Sure, we'll oh, keep running around then. All the time. I'm sorry for your wasted effort. How do we get to her over there now? This way. And did someone say you're specially? Oh no, hit the wrong button. That was close. Good on the save, though, at least. Alright, gotta hit the claw button to pull myself up there. I think this is the way over there? Looks kind of spooky, but we'll try it out. Don't have a ton of options, and also I don't have the uh, extra long jump right now since Elig is tied up. So let's have to hope that it's not an illusion. So chatty. You crave her, don't you? But all she has in her heart is purpose. Nice. Yeah, see, bosses don't really care when you put them at the edge. As a matter of fact, it's dangerous to put them near the edge because then they just skip over you and then you're the one near the edge. So I gotta avoid that whenever possible. Got her. She's lonely. Don't, tell, don't say that. Chat's gonna get too excited. <laughs> you'll, ne you'll never get him calmed down again, I guarantee you. Besides, she wouldn't like me. I don't even have a name. What can I possibly provide? Oh. Ah, thought I could jump her there. There we go. that. Ooh! Combo was a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. Oop! Wrong button. So I had to get saved, so that's gonna restore some of her health then. <laughs> that's what I provide. I mean, technically I'm a video game character. Who even knows how much of that I have? It's an open question. Alright, so I want to get her away from the edge, because that's just irritating. So I'm going to see if I can keep countering her too, because that's an awesome way to fight, except that she hits me like that. Come on, come away from the edge. There we go. Nice! There's the counter. Alright, she's almost finished off now, so... Did I get her? Not quite. No, I got her. Well, it's been entertaining. Please tell me there's a way to get rid of her permanently. When we imprison Araman for good, or if we enter the palace rooms beyond the Black Gate. Checking R34? Oh, I, I guarantee you'll find something there. That's the way the internet works. <laughs> but you check anyway, to each of their own. Enjoy yourself there. That's when you want mods. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That sound you hear coming off of the distance is Twitch lurking and waiting to ban me. <laughs> Playing Prince of Persia with nude bods, yeah, that'd, that'd annihilate me. Oh, you you found some! What, what a surprise! <laughs> Can you stand? Oh, never saw myself as appearing on a stage. I'd like to thank you for coming to tonight's special performance of Death of a Concubine. She's not dead. I can dream. I thought that's what stages were for. If you don't dream, you will never be more than you are. And if you don't wake up, dreaming's all you'll ever do. Let's go to the next fertile ground. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that is that what you're calling they're calling it now? Is that what the kids call it? Pay dirt? Back in my day we had a different foot name for it. And it was Peen. <laughs> Many! Oh good times! So not only does he, is he uh, packing, but he's uh, he's packing well. Good to know. 
All right, so now I can unlock a temple, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Because I want to grab all the light seeds in this area, otherwise it's going to be irritating to come back. But once I'm ready to move on from this area, we'll go ahead and hit the world map. And I'll show you what unlocking a new area looks like. Oops. Now we've got to pull ourselves up. And I think we're going to go back down because there's still stuff to grab. I don't actually have Dead by Daylight uh, radio. I'd certainly like to try it out. I've seen people playing it. Um, ooh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, uh, I got my uh, seasonal allergies acting up here, so I'm a little sneezy, and I'll try to uh, mute myself whenever I sneeze. So you don't have to hear the constant sneezing. <laughs> my apologies. Regardless. I think I might have access to a copy radio. Um, if you're still around after the stream or tomorrow, hit me up, and uh, we'll see what we can figure out. Um, one of the streamers I used to watch um, was actually kind of a Dead by Daylight main, so I've seen a shitload of that game. Um, so I do have the basic idea of it, and I uh, got an idea of the mechanics. Deceit, that's that brand new one out. Um, I forget who it was I was talking to, but I talked to someone that played Deceit, and they were not a big fan of it. Um, and that's one of those games where it... Uh, you know, if it, I think, I worry that Deceit would rely a little too much on story and atmosphere, and that means when it comes to mechanics, it might be falling flat. That is always a danger with games like that, I think. Um, but I am looking into it. I'm, uh, I don't know if they're going to be changing anything, or if it's, I don't remember if Deceit is actually launched, or if it's still kind of uh, in early access. But, uh, no, Dead by Daylight, I think, is a really interesting game. I, uh, the, I think the only problem with it is because of, uh, because it does have pretty solid mechanics, that means as a trade-off, it doesn't necessarily have, uh, the atmosphere It kind of loses something, I think. But what are you going to do? There's still a whole bunch of light seeds in this part. Maybe we can grab a couple more here. Well, no, not, not story necessarily, like story story, but more like, uh, you know, they're trying to create a certain atmosphere. I'm not describing it very well, but, you know, when you try and, uh, how do I put this? I, th I think some horror multiplayer games like that are built very much on the idea that players play it in a certain way. And when you play with people on the internet, sometimes they're just, uh... You know, more concerned about winning than anything else, and sometimes that means that uh, mechanically it can weaken the way the game works, if that makes any sense. Just like how Dead by Daylight, it's a very scary game in concept, but then you actually play it, and, you know, the, the act of playing it sort of weakens the whole uh, idea of, uh, oh, you're being hunted by a serial killer, because eventually you do get the pro strats. You do figure out the pro strats. And that takes away from the, the experience of the horror, if that makes any sense. All right, just a couple more in this arena, and then we'll go ahead and uh, unlock our new area like it's wanting us to. Definitely more fun with people you know? I can imagine that. I think that's true of uh, an awful lot of multiplayer games, honestly. Because then you really can create that atmosphere if you want to. You know, you've got that option, you've got full control. Uh, for a, really a wide variety of multiplayer games. What is that one there? Hello, how do I get to you? No. Weird, it's just sort of hanging out in midair there. I don't know. I'm not going to go for that one right now, though. That's the, uh... I think you need to try Dead by Daylight before you think about it, especially with the new killer buffs. They, did they buff the killers again? Dang it. I'm going to have to look into that. I was keeping up with it for a while, but uh, the streamer that I watched that uh, was sort of a main on it hasn't played it in a while, so I sort of 
lost contact with the uh, with the uh, uh, patch updates as it was going along. So yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in checking out what's going on with that now. Let's see, the street streams really well if you like that horror. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that being a game that's really fun to watch. And uh, certainly, I will say, there are some games that are more fun to watch than play. At least I feel that way. A system called Bloodlust and Killers get stacks of speed boost for chasing. Oh, man. that That is a savage buff right there. That's kind of scary. I don't know. I, I do respect... I do respect that Dead by Daylight seems like a really difficult game to balance properly. Because um, it when you've got the, the one versus many aspect, that means there's going to be just a ton of variables that go into how the game is balanced and how you determine if the game is balanced. But still, it does seem like they have some troubles with that game. No more infinite pallet looping. I thought they, they fixed the pallet looping with those sort of uh, shields they put around things like pallets. Or am I thinking of uh, the jungle gyms and the windows? I may well be. Lurking there, Zero? Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by regardless, and good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. I love that fish uh, emote, too. That thing is so adorable. Alright, so there's more light seeds to be had here, so let's make sure I'm getting... Ooh, almost missed that one back there. Go ahead and grab that one while we're in the area. Oops! Ah, I hit the button, but just too late there. There we go. Do I wanna... No, this way should face me in the right direction. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's Dead by Daylight, Joe Visitor. That's the one we've been talking about. Uh, they just added Jason as one of the more recent killers. Uh, actual uh, bit of licensing right there, which is interesting. Oh, no, Friday the 13th. Yeah, they're actually making a game based on that. I saw a couple streams of that. It wasn't actually in beta for that long, so I didn't get a great sense of it. But still, I'm interested in trying it out. There's another one. I don't remember the name of it, but there's another one they're working on that takes place in a school and actually allows you to fight back against the killer. And that one looks really interesting because I think it gives the killer a bit more... A bit more uh, in the strategic sense, a bit more to do than just uh, hunt and kill. Uh, so that one could be a game changer as well. I can't remember the name of it though. Oh right, they added Michael Myers. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> the joys of having conversations while distracted with streaming. It's good times. Any more over there? No, we're good. The Shape. All right, Michael Myers, of course. Now I'm going to have that theme song stuck in my head all day. Which is not a bad thing, incidentally. It's a good theme song. Yandere Simulator, that's its own kind of terrifying. Also banned on Twitch pretty much forever. There's that, too. I only heard about it because the killer needed to be off-screen and stuff. Yeah, there's they've got a weird mechanic where uh, when you're not directly on-screen as the killer, you can teleport um, and do some other thing. So it's... It's interesting. It allows the players... Uh, the players have to do more in that game mechanically instead of just uh, starting the generators. They've got a whole bunch of options they can take as far as uh, uh, fighting back or as far as uh, getting their win condition, which is interesting in and of itself. Yeah, that is really disappointing. Twitch's, uh, Twitch's answer about Yandere Simulator is basically... We're not, we don't have the time, effort, or staff to actually uh, vet games, so... Since we banned your game once, we're just going to assume it's ban-worthy forever, even if you say you made changes to it. Okay, Twitch, thanks there. Appreciate it. Oops. Please, let's go back to the temple. Yeah, I'm working on it. Which way is that? Or that way? Oh, yeah, towards the big tree thing. Should have known that. We must go back to the temple. Yeah, I gotcha. We're going. Thought you had something interesting to say there. So yeah, I do kind of like this whole, this whole uh, 
slant nowadays towards uh, one versus many multiplayer what with uh, Friday the 13th and Dead by Daylight. I think it's a really interesting new concept and I don't think we've seen the best that there is. Sure good idea to be this close. Um, so I, I think there's a lot of room to expand in the area, a lot of room to innovate still. Alright, so we have to pick which area we're going to unlock first. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and start on the left. Maybe. Oh, we got a cinema first. We're alive, so we must be trapped. Oh, it can't be. After what's happened so far today, you think there's anything that can't be? These plates haven't been lit for generations. The healings must have had an effect. Woo! Will they keep Armin trapped? No. They gave the Ura their powers. Now that they're active, we can reach the other fertile grounds. If we heal those... Then he'll be trapped and we can get out of here? Yes. All right. Which one do we pick? They each allow us to get to different areas. It depends where we want to go. All right, simple as that. Yeah, let's start with the the first area over here. To reach fertile ground in the city of light and the veil. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? And we have to use these powers to get up to the fertile ground. Yes, they were used to protect them. You're gonna have to teach me how to use them. All right, so press the. Power button next to the plate to use it. And now we're wall running straight up. Badass. So these are sort of little mini games to use to access new areas. It's kind of cute. If the powers were meant to protect the fertile grounds, why are we meeting Armin friends there? The lands have been corrupted. Armin's followers cannot use the plates. The powers come from Ormaz, the god of light. Going full lurk, uh, Joe Visitor. Well, thank you for stopping by, and thank you again for the host. I really appreciate it. I will hopefully see you around later. Can't this Ormaz stop Armin? No one knows where he is. Some god of light sticking us with his problems. A thousand years ago, after the war here, Ormaz imprisoned Armin. He left the Ura to guard the prison. And? And he left. No one knows to where. Since then, the Ura lost the powers he gave them. The prison is weak. You can't just pray a bit and bring him back? If Omaz were here, he would stop this. He's not, so it is up to us. You have powers. Does that mean Omaz is coming back? It is not Omaz who has given them to me. It is the temple. I can see why Armin is angry. Trapped for a thousand years. It is of his own making. Omaz and Armin are brothers, created to balance the universe. Until Armin decided to take it all. The cost was terrible. But eventually, Ormaz and the Ura trapped him here in a tree. The world was free of Armin. It was supposed to be free of Armin. Alright, learning that backstory. Drav, hey! Welcome into the stream! Glad you noticed the title! I was hoping somebody would notice that. And, we're running over to here. And up this way. I actually lost track of which way was up, but I think it's, uh... Kind of academic at this point. Right, through here now? Yeah, I think through here. Big glowy gateway. You're old, of course you notice it. I'm down with that. Elega. Please, I did this for you. The task of our people is past. The tree grows weak. Are those your words? Or Armin's? Where was Ormas when your mother was taken from us? Where was he in your hour of need? Elika, I am your father. I am your king. Just ignoring him. Say, the next time you want to win your daughter back, you could try just giving her a pony. The apocalypse doesn't really cut it. Burn! We can reach more of the fertile grounds. 
Let's go to them. All right, so we got new areas we can explore now. I think we must heal more lands before we return here again. All right, we can do that. The fertile grounds are what count now. We must get to them. There's nothing here for us. I'm sure you and your father. My father betrayed his duty. He's risked Aramin returning to the world. Yes, but why do you think he did it? I don't know. Prince of Persia, more like Prince of Sassia. Hey there, Red Malvo. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing today? I have some idea why your father set Aramin free. He was trying to get me to leave. I refused. Oh, sure. You won't leave, so he ends the world. He was convinced the temple was failing, that it was only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before I die. I'm not hurrying that up. Don't judge him. You don't know him. I mean, the guy did try to end the world. I feel justified for uh, judging him for that. What you said about the temple failing. If the temple's failing, can we even stop our... We have to. We have to doesn't mean we can. Things have changed. The land has changed. We can stop Aramon. Well, the brother shot anyway. I can't help you if you shut me out. What else do you need to know? If you couldn't fix the temple before, why can you now? I didn't have these powers before. The land must want me to heal it. Huh. Alright, that's a good argument. Can I get this magic? No. But if you didn't have it before... You can't. Alright, jeez. Doing good? Alright, Red Velvo, I'm doing fine myself. Thank you for asking. Alright, so we've got one of the areas unlocked, so let's check out the map. And so these four areas are what are unlocked right now. These two right here, and these two over here, which is a bit weird and random, but it again keeps you kind of spread out. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step at the fourth area over here. And then I can get to the new areas from there. And yeah, I think that's a good plan. That'll allow us to see who the fourth boss is as well. That could be interesting. Uh, so Radio, if you're still around, since we were talking about asymmetric multiplayer, are there any go other good asymmetric multiplayers you can think of offhand? I am always game for uh, new games, as it were. Off the top of my head, I can't think of too many. I remember there was, uh... I know there was Savage, but the Savage reboot, from what I understand, is not doing well. Uh, last I saw, the average uh, server population was in the single digits, so not even enough to get one game together, which is a real goddamn tragedy. Because I love the original Savage, but uh, the Savage 2 was not great in the reboot. I haven't tried it yet, but if nobody's playing it, there's, there's no way it's going to be okay. Nosgoth! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Luckily, thankfully, Nosgoth is dead. Mourn for it, not. You got me! I like how you have to use the uh, powers to jump over this area. It's just a tiny bit of gating. You don't act like a princess. How do princesses act? All the money, none of the sense. Don't know which end of a camel eats and which end... I know which end of a camel does what. <laughs> That's a good start. We can work with that. A princess. A real princess. What about you? Who are you? There's not a lot to tell. So, have you... Uh-uh. I'm not saying anything until you share something about you. So, why were you in the desert with a donkey loaded with gold? I was on my way home. From where? No, it's not where you've come from. It's where you're going that matters. Evasion. <laughs> Your turn to tell me something. You've still not said where you got the gold. I found it. You found it. You're a thief. I'm an adventurer. You're a thief. I reclaim abandoned property. <laughs> Subtle distinction there. I was a few days from here. I heard rumors of a tomb. A little bit of digging, small amount of hiding. Forget one donkey. I could have loaded 20, 30. Those guards hadn't turned up. Still, I got away with enough to keep life pleasurable for at least a few more years. You robbed the dead. A lot easier than robbing the living. Tomb Raider! Why am I being punished? Sure, I took a little gold, but the owner's been dead for 300 years. Not like he was going to do anything with it. 
It's true. Who's out there waiting for you? Whole world full of people. Is there no one you've got close to? Trust yourself and you don't need to. <laughs> Trusting your own judgment can get lonely. If you rely on someone else, they'll just let you down. You haven't let me down. You haven't known me long enough. Ouch. Tell me about your family. I don't have a family. Well, you came from somewhere. Yes, and I'm going somewhere else. A V check successful. Wanna play a game? Come on, it'll be fun. The world's about to end, and you want to play a game? Might as well die happy. What sort of game is this? Well, I see something, and you have to guess what it is. Oh, God. Can I guess that? You just guess. Brass. No. Rock. New. No. This is a stupid game. <laughs> She's right, it is. Want another go? No. Path. No. This is impossible. <laughs> the game would be easier if we played it by the rules. There are rules? Yeah. I tell you the first letter. Then why didn't you do that? You didn't give me a chance. <laughs> Can we get to the fertile ground? Doesn't even want to play anymore. Yes. Are you still playing that game? <laughs> Sky. Hey, you got it. Okay, your turn. This is the rest of the game right here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, your turn. For what? Uh, C. Corruption. Yes. Can we go on? That was easy. S. Sky again? No, you're getting it. <laughs> Sky again? No, but you're getting a hang of the rules. Oh, thanks. Uh, they're so complex, I was worried they might evade me. Just gonna keep mashing the button for the red next hour. Scar. No. Scarf? No. Shrine? Aha! No. I give up. It's too soon to give up. I give up! Soulless follower of Araman. I am amazed no one threw you overboard on your sea trips. <laughs> G. Are you still playing? G. Gauntlet. Yes! You wanna make this game harder? Want to play the game again for forfeits? No. Really, really into this game, apparently. No, I'm starting to see why you love it here. This is a better look for the place. You can actually breathe here. Nothing trying to kill us. Grass under my feet. Quiet. What can you hear? <laughs> Nothing. It's great, isn't it? It's a simple man. All right, I think that's everything. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Radio crawl. How did we not manage to play crawl radio? How did that happen? How did that work? How did we fail that bad that we haven't played crawl yet? That is a shame. Uh, draft AVP2? That is true. I haven't played AVP2 multiplayer in a very long time. I kind of missed that one. Melvo, how to talk without having conversation. Yeah, he, he is really good at evading answering any questions whatsoever. I'm actually a little jealous. Uh, Left 4 Dead, I'd call that more, instead of asymmetrical multiplayer, I'd define that more as, uh, PvE. Since there's nobody really as the enemy. Or, oh no, there is, uh, you can jump in as the uh, enemy infected, can't you? I, I completely forgot about that. I, I enjoy playing, uh, the survivors more than the infected in that game, that's probably why. Clandestine, I haven't heard of that one. Is that a new one? Yeah, no, once you, once you think about the Special Infected, it totally counts. I just completely forgot you could play it Special Infected, because I never, ever do that. Natural Selection Draft, thank you. I was trying to remember that name later, but all I'm like is, is all I could think of is, it's the one where you're playing Marines and you're shooting the aliens. But yeah, I played Natural Selection a little bit, but I uh, never really got into it, probably because I didn't have the time. But yeah, it seemed like a pretty cool game. Uh, released in 15, I might like it. Think it qualifies as a game you could play on stream? Ooh, then I'll definitely look into it. Thank you for letting me know, Radio. I appreciate that. And for anybody else in chat, uh, well, I can't make any guarantees uh, as far as what I'm going to play next. I am always open to suggestions if you've got some more games you'd like to see streamed, or just some more games that you'd like uh, me to know about. Or hell, if just some more games you want to talk about in chat, feel free to. Chat is open for any sort of nerd topics. Hello. The heck was that? This devastation is more than the work of corruption. Why do I get the feeling if corruption didn't do this, something worse did? In the last battle with Araman, the city was given to the warrior. I think this could be his work. All right, so that's our fourth boss, the warrior. Come on from here. 
And she doesn't answer. <laughs> Bandicide is a two-player or single-player hacking game set in 96. Asymmetrical co-op allows one player to take the role of a spy, while a friend provides overwatch and assistance. Oh, hell, that sounds cool. I am very interested in that. I think every IT guy likes hacking as an aesthetic, if nothing else. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Maybe I've seen hackers too many times. Yes. Alright, well at least we got to the direct path this time. If that thing's just standing there, shouldn't we go somewhere else? The corrupted will try to stop us wherever we go. There won't be easy answers. So no, we gotta go in there and kick his ass. If we have to face him. Let's get it over with. Yeah, may as well. He does look like a big guy, though. The writings say he was a king. He asked Aramin for help, and in return for the king's soul, Aramin gave him the strength to fight the armies that threatened him. I said weaknesses. No, <laughs> no mention of weaknesses. You had oh, to pick this religion. You couldn't have picked one where all the evil creatures were, I don't know, slightly angry sheep. I'd follow that one. That sounds nice. The warrior wanted his enemies killed. Why has he ended up here? Armin twists people's desires. The king asked for the power to save his people. Armin gave him that, and in return made an instrument of war for himself. Is there anything we can use with the warrior against Armin? Armin kept his promise. The king's people were left by Armin's forces, but they are still gone, vanished into history. Ouch. Too much talking? Well, let's get to the fighting then. Oh, hey, ho, oh, hey, whoa! Alright, so no direct route for us. Well, I'll take the indirect route then. Screw you, warrior. I'll get there eventually. Whoa, oh, jeez! Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job at it by with the whole breaking everything around here thing. Luckily, still conveniently leaving these support poles. How handy! Yeah, now as far as asymmetric, um, I should also mention uh, something very near and dear to my heart, which is the card game uh, Netrunner, which is an asymmetric uh, card game, kind of like Magic the Gathering, except the two players play with different decks. I, I sincerely love it, it's one of my favorites, and that one's asymmetric too. Uh, so it's not just video games that have the whole asymmetric revolution. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's very large. I don't think I want to get hit by this guy. The warrior cannot be harmed by swords or magic. Use the environment to defeat him. Alright, hold the block button to block. Listen to your honor. Armin's not your Can I knock him off the edge? Yes! Almost! Oh, nope! Come on, push him back! Nice! Oh, jeez. That was scary! <laughs> Why were you trying to talk to that thing? He's a man, not a thing. If he was a man, he's not anymore. What he did, he did for honor. We should try and use that. That'd be nice if it worked, but it didn't seem like it was working too well. You don't want to use the warrior's honor. You think he can be saved. Just because someone has a crown doesn't make them noble. No offense. He sacrificed his life for his people. He did it so people would talk about his sacrifice. You're such a cynic. Not cynical. Realistic. Anticlimactic Emperor? Well, uh, that's only because that's not the last time I'll face him. I'll have to fight him again uh, at least once more. I think a couple times more before the end of the game. And uh, those will be a little bit more uh, final. You really think people do things that aren't about themselves? Some people didn't take Aramin's offer. They chose to fight. Might not have been gold, but they still chose what was best for them. I bet they thought they'd get something in the afterlife. It's almost as if something wanted me to be able to get across that cliff, Red Malvo. Wow, it's like it was, like it was designed for me. Oh gosh. So why are you doing this? There's no gold here. 
Well, if the world ends. Just because I don't want Armin to win doesn't mean I care about Ormaz. You chose to stay because of who you are, because you're good. I'm not you. I don't want to live here so other people who don't care can live out their miserable lives. The gods, the people that died here, they did what they did because they chose to. Because they thought there was something in it for them. Bitter. If the warrior's people are gone, why does he stay with Armin? The corrupted have no choice. Armin takes their soul. Unfortunate. If all the corrupted lose their souls themselves, why have they got separate names? City gate, huh? You could have just put a gate on the cave. But then that wouldn't have been so showy. Point. Alright, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and purify this thing. Red Malvo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Glad to see you're enjoying yourself. Alright, so that's all four of the basic areas purified. So now we can move on to the tier two areas that we've got unlocked. Those four we unlocked with that last temple. Ooh, lots of light seeds in this one. Good deal. Can you see a way out of here? Alright, good deal. What was over here, anyway? Just the one? Yeah, just the one, I think. Oh, there's one up on that wall. I want to grab that wall here. Taking off, Red Malvo? Well, thank you for stopping by, and thank you again for the follow. You have yourself a good weekend if I don't see you again, and I do hope I see you around some more. So yeah, now we need to get up to 170 Light Seeds in order to get the next area unlocked. So that's, uh, that's a pretty decent number. Uh, but we'll have to see how big the next four areas we have unlocked are. I imagine there will be plenty to get there. We'll have to see, though. Whoops, nope, not that way. <laughs> see, really, that's why I appreciate having the system with uh, her assisting. is because it really saves me every time I press the wrong button, which, as you can see, is pretty goddamn frequently. Oh, <laughs> And so I wouldn't like it to just be a trial and error process. I think that would probably frustrate the hell out of me. And this way it's more like uh, small mistakes are forgiven. I think that's a good way to put it. Grab those two, and then jump back to the safety of the pillar. Ease peas. Ease peas. And I do like the pacing that they have in this game uh, with the... Uh, Switching between the fighty areas and then the adventuring areas. I think it's a good way to do this. Because you never get too burnt out on just one or the other. Alright, where do I want to go now? I want to stay in the area a little bit, so I don't think I want to go down that way. Go head over here then. Grab all these and we're going to be up to 100 in no time, so that's a good number to have. That one seems like a bad idea to get. Let's get it. Oh, sweet. Just barely got back on that platform. That seemed a little worrisome there. Um, go down there. More seeds to get over this way, though. Uh, I'll get them eventually, I'm sure. Head this way for right now. No, oh. <laughs> badly timed uh, voice line right there. As I uh, press the button just a little bit too late. Oh yeah, all right, and we're up to a hundred even. Good deal. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip back and grab these two, so I don't have to come back all this way later. Right now, it's just this little hop, skip, and a jump, so that's easy enough. So we were talking about asymmetric multiplayer, and I was saying what uh, talking a lot about what I haven't played, but I should talk a little bit more about what I have played. Now, above all else, I think the the multiplayer game I've played more than anything else has got to be uh, Team Fortress 2. Uh, I, th I think that's still my most played game on Steam. Last time I saw, I used to play the hell out of that thing. 
Emperor, thank you for the follow right there. Welcome into the stream, and uh, glad you're enjoying yourself. Hope you continue to. Yeah, I loved the shit out of TF2 back in the day, and probably after its day was long over, I was still playing it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, it was a really fun way to do multiplayer, in the sense that you had so many options, as far as the different classes and whatnot. I really latched onto that, because I like... You know, I like having different options in a game like that. I like to be able to use different guns and customize the game to some extent to my playstyle, if that makes sense. And TF2 was one of the first games where I really felt like I was able to do that. I'm sure there was others before it. I know there's TF Classic, if nothing else. But uh, yeah, TF2 was a big deal for me, so I played the hell out of it. Um, I don't think there was too many other... Uh, oops, wrong button there. There we go. I don't think there's too many other multiplayer games that I really latched on to, other than that. Um, really, I was uh, not a big person for multiplayer for a long time, simply because I kind of suck at it? <laughs> like, one of my early experiences with multiplayer was StarCraft uh, Online, the original StarCraft. And that was a bit of a mess, because... Uh, I don't really have the the reflexes for the uh, the microing in uh, StarCraft. Honestly, I was just the goddamn worse at StarCraft multiplayer, and so I mostly stuck to uh, campaign mode. And that kind of put me off multiplayer for a while as a uh, younger Shane. And it was only later on uh, that I started doing it. I know in college, another one I played a whole bunch was uh, what was it? Day of Defeat, the original Day of Defeat. I played a whole bunch. I had a bunch of friends that were big into it. And so I ended up getting a lot of play of that one. And that was really cool. The land play in that... Ah, oh, I was too high up. If you're going to take fall damage too, there's past a certain distance in this game it decides this fall would kill you. So even though there's a platform down there you can land on, we're going to say this is a lethal fall. So I guess it makes sense. Still, uh, problematic sometimes. Yeah, Day of Defeat was another one I played a lot of, and I really enjoyed that one back in the day. Although I don't think I'd enjoy it if I played it again, just because uh, my tastes have changed so much since then. Alright, I think I'm decent for seeds in this area. If I remember correctly, there's some seeds you actually can't get in certain areas till later. So let's go ahead and set our destination, and let's go to this one, let's say. The Queen's Tower. Go ahead and check that out. It'll be a little, a little bit of a trip to get there, but I'm sure we can pull it off. I'm trying to think what other multiplayer games I've played. I played a little bit of Tribes 2 way back in the day, but unfortunately when I got into Tribes 2 it was already more or less dead. So I never got to play on a lot of the multiplayer servers. Uh, what else? Oh, I'll tell you another one I played. Worms Armageddon. Holy crap, did I play the hell out of that game back when it was uh, big. And one feature I always really liked in Worms Armageddon is when you played someone... Uh, whenever you played with someone in the multiplayer, it would show you a little flag to show you where they were from. Like, their actual country flag. And I thought that was really neat because... Uh, well, hell, I mean, at the age I was at, uh, just the idea of communicating with people from all these other countries was blowing my mind. And uh, sometimes that meant that, uh, you know, so you'd get some spontaneous thing happening. Every once in a while we'd get a uh, American versus Brits match, just sort of a, as a pickup battle. That was really fun. Uh, you were big into Warcraft 3. You know, I was, uh, after uh, Everything with uh, StarCraft multiplayer, I think that kind of put me off RTSs for a while, so I never actually played much Warcraft 3, but I had a whole bunch of friends that swore by it, so I'm familiar with the game, if nothing else. So your favorite multiplayer games are horde mode games where you have to defend yourself against huge hordes of enemies. Those are really fun. I do enjoy those. What's your favorite horde mode game there, Drev? Yes, Killing Floor Radio. Yes, Killing Floor is another one that I spent uh, probably too much... You know, I want to say too much time, but honestly, it's probably not enough. I could have played a lot more Killing Floor than I did. And I really enjoyed it. Still haven't had any experience with Killing Floor 2. But honestly, a lot of the people I've talked to that enjoyed Killing Floor 1 haven't had a ton of positive things to say about uh, Killing Floor 2, so I'm not sure if I actually will try that or not. 
We'll see. But yeah, thank you for reminding me about that one, Radio. Radio over there also a player of Killing Floor 2 from back in the day. I was a uh, the Firebug or the Pyro class in uh, uh, Killing Floor, if I remember correctly. Uh, you don't recommend Killing Floor 2 either. Alright, I will probably stay away if that's the case. Thank you for letting me know, though. If anyone's got differing opinions, feel free to shout them out, but honestly, I've just heard so many negative opinions at this point. It's really disappointing. Are we going over this way now? Circuitous route here. Not quite sure where I'm being led to. Uh, I don't think I played the explosive one too much. I think I played just the basic, uh, one of the basic uh, straightforward shooty guys as well. One of the guys that's just, I, I shoot well, it doesn't really have uh, much class distinction behind that. I can't really remember. You never have too many explosives or things on fire? Emperor, you get it. That's exactly the case. If, ooh, if you're playing a video game and you're not blowing things up, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong and you're doing it bad and I'm disappointed. <laughs> Use the explosive class because you got mad when I kept trying to shoot through the smoke. I do remember that now. <laughs> You are correct. And there's some light seeds up there. Let's grab those. Booyah. Hang on. So you see, we haven't even gotten to the new areas that we've unlocked yet, and already we are doing pretty good on light seeds. I appreciate that. Alright, so we can stop the enemy from spawning if we move quickly enough. Well, let's see what we can do. I have a feeling we're not going to make it. We'll try. Ready? Nope, didn't make it in time. Ooh, he's a tough one. But I got a counter on him. Let's see if we can push him to the edge. Maybe? Yes, insta-kill. Uh, and admittedly, to my shame, some of the zombie modes in some of the Call of Duty games are really good. I know, I keep seeing the trailers for Call of Duty zombies, and I'm like, I really want to play this game. This looks amazing. I like zombie games. I like horde mode games. So some of those, some of those look amazing. You know, no shame in that. Don't ever let a game's name discourage you from playing it. If it looks fun, play it. No sense in not playing a fun game. I think that's a good way to put it. And now you. Alright, where are we going from here? Straight this way, alright. So now we're actually moving towards one of the previously locked areas, I believe. This is Araman's Tower. Araman's Tower? Why would you build a tower to Araman? weren't always at war. The tower was built more than a thousand years ago when they were brothers, each balancing the other, uh. until Araman decided to take it all. Great camera angle right there. Let's see if we can move out of the way of that. The tower was built before Omaz and Araman split, but why keep it? It's a reminder. It's like going home with a girl and finding keepsakes of her ex-boyfriend everywhere. <laughs> or maybe the girl wanted to remember what had been good before things went wrong. Maybe her interfering mother couldn't forget <laughs> Baggage right there. Do you think Armin will be happy to find his tower's been demolished? Armin doesn't care about this city. This place is starting to get me down. Let's move on. We can't do any good here. True facts. Alright, which way were we headed? This way. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I should mention the, the latest multiplayer game I've been playing that honestly I haven't gotten to play enough of uh, recently was Overwatch. I was playing the heck out of that for a while, but uh, streaming has kind of taken up all my time and I haven't been able to play it as much as I'd like. Oops. But uh, Overwatch, I think, is a game that I enjoy very much. Um, again, you've got the sort of different, sort of the class-based multiplayer. Oops, that did not work out. <laughs> So that gives you options and sort of allows you to pick a character that uh, supports your playstyle, which I'm always down with. And in that game, I like healers, I like support, things like that. Mercy is a good one for me. Um, who else? I play a lot of Mei. She's a, she's a really weird character, but I really enjoy how she plays. Shoot, I didn't, wasn't able to stop him from spawning either. 
Oh, he's going near that wall. That's not what I want from him. Go near the edge so I can stab you and end this quick. Oh, can we? Yes. <laughs> that wasn't an answer. Hang on a sec, folks. Oh, seasonal allergies, aren't they wonderful? May is OP. She doesn't have any hard counter. That's probably why I enjoy her. May is not OP. You may not have a hard counter, but she's not... She's not spectacular against a whole bunch of characters. I think she's just very versatile is the thing. And I do appreciate some versatility. Where am I going from here? I feel like I might have jumped into the wrong area. Oops, no, that, that there I jumped into the wrong area. <laughs> May can certainly be frustrating to deal with, I'll give you that. Oh, up! I didn't even notice that there. Dang it! Yeah, that's actually why I started playing May in the first place, because I kept getting killed by Maze, and I'm like, alright, I need to see what it's like on the other side here. Wow, that roaring is a little unnerving. But yeah, once I tried her out, there was uh, no going back. She is now one of my favorite characters, although I'll say she doesn't work on every map well. Alright, so we're going over to that plate right now, so that might be how we unlock the new area. Your tower? I've never owned a tent, let alone a tower. It isn't my tower. It is dedicated to the women who ruled here. That makes it yours. My father is still king. He speaks for the Ura. Alright, if you insist. Didn't mean to make a thing about it. Whoa! Alright, that's... That's a little confusing. What happened to your mom? She died. My father is all that is left. Alright, simple enough. Your father, after what happened to him in the tree when... We don't know what happened to him. I know, but... None of that matters. The past doesn't matter. Until Araman is stopped, nothing matters. Oh, you can totally beat her in close combat. You bring a Symmetra, you bring a Reinhardt, she'll go down. The past never matters, but that doesn't stop people using it as an excuse to do something stupid. Shall we go and liberate your tower before we end up as history? Sounds like a plan. I thought you'd explored most of this place. It is your home. I never came here. These towers are just walls, relics from the past. Nothing more. If you insist. No, I think they're reminders of our failures. Built from pride as a bastion against Armin. We failed. Rebuilt as monuments to victory. Now they are falling to pieces. When did things start to go wrong here? Ten, twenty generations ago. We built this place to last forever. To keep Armin forever. But while the stones still stand, the people have not lasted. Well, that's the X-Factor there, Drav, is jukes! Gotta have the mad jukes! You don't have mad jukes? Oh yeah! Yeah, you're going down, definitely. Oops! Oh, no! So I can't run into anything while I'm running, that's new. So that's what it is, is you unlock these power plates and they give you special powers that you can use to reach new areas. Oops! Oh! Juke too early. Speaking of jukes! Juke too early there. Oops, pressed too early there as well. There we go. So each of the power plates gives you a different power that you use to access new areas, and fundamentally they're all just sort of uh, mini-games. But it's still interesting to see the different ways they have you go. I dig it. We're going. Gotta dodge those things. Are we almost there? Maybe? Maybe not? And nope, more plates. Nope. Oh no! Oh, that was a long one there. 
Good Zarya. I haven't ever tried to take Zarya on in melee, so I can't speak about that one. That seems spectacularly dangerous. Oh man, they knocked me a long way back. All the way back to where I was uh, standing on solid ground. Ooh, this is a tricky one. I wonder how close I was to the end there. Come on. There we go. This way. And... and there's another plate. Oh, no. Ooh, got a juke around that thing. That is a long juke. Oh my god, how long is this thing? Am I getting sort of close to the end? Maybe, kind of. This is insane. Who even put these plates here? Who did this thing? Maybe not. Oh, we're good. Whew. That, that was a long sequence right there. And Reaper up close. Yeah, I've been wrecked by Reapers a couple times. That's true, too. Yeah, I mean, the trick is just uh, making sure that you juke enough so that she can't get your their uh, freeze on you. And then you can out-damage her. Not too much trouble, I'd say. And up here? Oh, jeez! Welp! Alright, so now we don't have a ledge to push him off, so we're gonna have to figure something else out. Maybe we can... Hello, or maybe we can run. Alright, through the door, they say. Let's do that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Wanna come over here? You wanna fight? Wanna fight on the edge? That's how I do things, on the edge! Ooh. Knock him down! Ooh. No, it didn't work. Ooh. Ow! Shoot! Alright, that worked. Gotta knock him back. Come on. We got this. We got this. Get that shield up and push. Come on. Boom. Bigger they are. The more they boast about it. Keep your eyes open while I do the healing. And of course, that wasn't the final fight again. He'll be back. Well, see, if she places the wall or freezes herself, then she's not, uh, she isn't killing you either. So you still got opportunities to fight back at that point. She hasn't won the fight, it's just, uh, changed the, uh, nature of it, I think. Yeah, bailing is always an option. I think bailing in a fight with uh, any character in Overwatch is a little different than getting killed by them. Retreating is not losing, necessarily. Not right there. That's another step closer. I've never known a queen. Not up close in person. You still don't. Will you ease up on yourself? I know things haven't been too... Your mother's not here. Your father's having problems. But you're the one risking your life to put things right. Your mother would be proud of you. Oh, look, I'm... Forget it. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just cheer up, Queenie. You're doing a good job. You too. I just hope your mother doesn't find out about the tomb robbing and the priestesses. Donkeys and the hey, you know, boys will be boys. <laughs> Simple hand wave right there. No stairs, no plates. Looks like we'll have to grip fall. I can do that. Ready to go down? And another thing to consider too is even if you have to, uh, you know, even if May throws up the wall or the freeze, you've still forced her to put one of her abilities on cooldown. Especially the wall, making her waste a wall just against one character. I'd, I'd say that's a big step, because then she's not using it to help her entire team. She's having to use it in a panic. 
I know usually when I uh, have the wall, I'd certainly have some uh, big designs for it, but... Oop, nope. Okay. But if somebody forces me to just, uh, you know, use it defensively, then uh, it's wasted, essentially. Even if I survive. There's better things it could have been used for, I'll say that much. Alright, then jump across here. Oops, no. There we go. Alright, then we'll probably have to grip fall down here too, I imagine. Yeah, looks like it. Alright, this is getting us way down. Alright, yeah, we can do that. And then... Any... Now, see, it's weird. In places like this, you can't actually move the camera angle. So I was like, is there any light seeds above me? No, I can't check, unfortunately. Just have to assume slash hope. All right, grab this one. Parkour. Damn impressive parkour. Here. Thank you. This guy is good at what he does, I'll say that much. And that is, uh, you know, another thing to think about that is, uh... Oh, oh! Wasn't even paying attention there. Damn it! And that's what I get. Are you all right? Wait, am I all the way at the... Oh, I'm all the way back at the start. Son of a bitch. See, so yeah, for anyone calling these games easy, it's sequences like this that really punish you for mistakes and set you all the way back. It may not technically be a game over. But it's, uh... Definitely forcing you to do the work the right way. That's the way I look at it anyway. anyway. It's, it's like I said, uh, not not being able to lose doesn't mean that the game lets you automatically win. I still think that's a really good way to think about this game. It's the way I choose to think about it anyway. Oh, radio there does have a pretty decent ranking. Last time I heard. Uh, so there is that, certainly. Whew. But uh, me, I'm, uh, I was high silver last time I checked. Just to scrub myself. Alright, where do I go from here? Alright, here we go. I can see solid ground down there somewhere. Hopefully I'll be able to, uh, survive once I get to there. Come on. Solid ground. Holy crap, Master Radio, congratulations. That is damn impressive. I've still got to do my rankings for Season 3. I don't imagine it'll be anything spectacular, but I always do like to find out uh, kind of what, I, what options I've got there. Well, you know, in any multiplayer game, there's always more to learn, Drev. So no shame there. No shame whatsoever. Just, uh, you know, take it all as a learning experience. So you take the advice and you integrate it into your own play. Become a better player. That's, you know, that's how I like to look at it. Anybody that says they've learned any, everything there is to know about a, a multiplayer game like Overwatch is wrong. You know, right, right, right on its face right there. Always be looking for new ways to learn. It's a good way to live. So I haven't gotten a ton of light seeds in this place. So I've got to really be looking around here. I'm doing good on uh, numbers, but we're going to need plenty more. Oops. Alright, I think I need to jump and then jump like that to be able to get high enough. There we go. I uh, really did... Uh, let's see like when people thought Bastion was Opia uncounterable and that was before the buff. Yeah, that that is, uh... I feel like you can tell a lot about a player's rating, uh, if they say that Bastion's, uh, invincible. It just means you haven't learned all the different ways that he's vulnerable. You know, the more you play Bastion, the more you realize he's, he's got a lot of weaknesses, uh, almost more than strengths. Although I haven't played him much since the buff. All a matter of learning, that's all it is. Just gotta be willing. 
Anybody willing to learn more, I'm never going to say anything bad about. Alright, this is a tough sequence. And oh, I've got an itch right on my eyebrow. Damn it. Oh, oh. Don't you hate that? But there's a little something intense in a video game where you just get an itch right on your eyebrow or something like that that you can't quite scratch. Getting plenty of light seeds here, though. It's a good deal. through here. Ooh, and we made it. Whew. All right. That gets us to 135. We're not making bad progress towards that 170 at all. I'm really happy about that. Um, all right, I think I need to choose a new area now, and we're going to the other unlocked one right across the way. That'll be a little bit of a trip, but we can get over there. And we are heading this way around, it looks like. I think this is the way we took the first time, but... Oh, there hey, more light seeds, too. Excellent. Alright, that gets me back to the boss area. So, where do we go from here? Over this way. Oh man, back through the grip fall maze. But I already did this. Alright, we'll do it again. That's fine. Just paying too much attention to the light seeds and not where I was going. Hold on. Don't let go. Alright. If I did it once, I can do it again, right? Hopefully. We'll see. Getting a little bit of ahead of, a hell, ahead of Elika there. You can see the game gets a little twitchy when you get too far ahead of her. But still, I'm in a hurry. What are you going to do? This is we were talking about Overwatch, too. What do you guys think of uh, the new character in there? You like her? Think she needs a buff? Think she needs a debuff? I haven't actually got to try her yet, and I've only been able to play against her. Orisa, that's who I'm talking about. I've only been against her once and I haven't actually got to try her, so I don't have too much of an opinion. But uh, just looking at her kit, she looks like a really interesting character. She looks like the type of character I'd be playing anyway. I'm down with that. <laughs> Drav, always the most delicious of mishearings right there. <laughs> the choiciest mishearings. Her head hitbox is huge. That's interesting. Oh, and we go down from here. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a down from here. So that's where all those light seeds are hiding from me. Son of a bitch. And you notice there's a blue plate right here too, which I could use to do... Probably climb back up this way, but I haven't unlocked the blue plates yet. Uh, so that'll be something uh, if we ever come back to the area, maybe to keep an eye out for. Then we're heading up this way. I think this is going to be a new path, right? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe not. Pretty weak, almost impossible to miss her. Yeah, I know I heard somebody using her in a tournament once. Uh, right after she came out and he got uh, completely wrecked. <laughs> Which is funny. That's what you get for using a new character the day they uh, come out, I suppose. Oops. That doesn't seem like the right way. Maybe I have to jump across first. And then uh, skid down this way, maybe? I swear I was already down here just a second ago, but this is where she wants me to go. Yeah, I was just down here. Where is she telling me to go, then? I'm a little confused. That he got wrecked was not a problem. The problem was who he got wrecked by. Who did he get wrecked by? Oh, now she's telling me a different path. Alright. Hello? No. What can you see? This was your city. Oops. Fertile ground is. Hey, stop! You must be. 
What? Upset? Devastated? Angry. I don't know how you've held it together this far, but you need to keep holding it together or both of us are dead. Have you finished understanding me? Ice cold. Know you've lost things and that makes your life feel worth less. But if you don't value your life, it's like you don't really care about the things you lost. Oh, that's a pretty fine speech for someone who doesn't care about anything. Burn! Well, it should be a fine speech. It cost me two silver pieces from a fortune teller in Babylon. Keep the anger, princess. Stay alive. And let's find something you can hit. Nice philosophy. I'll take it. Risa was kind of intended to be a Reinhardt counter, and was wrecked by a Reinhardt. <laughs> yeah, that is a little embarrassing there. Tell me to head backwards, damn it. Where does she want me to go here? Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I think her pathing was just confused or something. But all right, yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel from what I've seen, like uh, she's probably not, not unfixable. Just uh, maybe need some tweaking. Because I do really uh, like the kit she has. So maybe just you know a little buff here, a little tweak there. She could be a viable character, I think. I'll be interested to see what they want to do in that direction anyway. Alright, over this way now. Oops, didn't quite get high enough there. Jump. Double jump. There we go. Uh, so what are you guys thinking of this game so far? You like what you see of the gameplay? You like what you see of the story? Anything interesting to you? This doesn't look, really look like a cup of tea. Feel free to let me know. We get scary roaring in the background, everything's shaking. Ooh. Tough jumping puzzles. Alright, so it looks like we're heading back the way we came, probably. Well, like I said, we did have to make a bit of a trip to get where we were going here. Ooh, that was a close one. There we go. I'll double check where we're going here, and we're going in this direction. Yeah, usually, you know, ordinarily I'd say in a lot of cases I play the latest game in a series because I want to get all the quality of life upgrades, but I know in this case it's not necessarily true uh, because this game was so divisive. But still, it's uh, undoubtedly got some pretty decent graphics to it. And I think it's got some interesting concepts, if nothing else. Alright. Oh, dang. He countered me again. Oh, no. At least he doesn't throw me off the edge. Probably could have, but uh, he doesn't want to. That's fine by me. Oh, I missed that last one. Dang it, he is countering everything I'm throwing at him. Maybe I should be trying to counter him. Instead of the opposite. Ah, oh, missed my counter. Just keep saving myself at least, so there's that. There we go. Get him to the edge, and stab. I'll take it. Looks like a decent game, a bit like Darksiders 2, just with less combat. Yeah, it's a little more about the puzzle platforming than the combat, definitely. I kind of like the variety it introduces in that sense. Uh, as much as I like my third-person combat, having a little bit uh, extra to do from time to time isn't bad, I don't think. Not for me, anyway. Oop. I hear more spooky roaring. That's not a good thing. Alright, solid ground again. This is a really complex area. Where are we going now? Alright, more slopes. Oh, 
Oh, all mobs are weak against when some mo some move. I suppose that would make sense while they give you uh, four moves to use. Um, if you have to figure out weaknesses. That is interesting. I'm going to have to try out different moves and see who's weak to what. As you can see, my strat against enemies in this game is mostly just pushing them to the edge and then getting that nice one-hit stab kill. Which I think is pretty effective. I enjoy it anyway. But uh, yeah, obviously if there's moves that are more damaging, I am going to want to try that out. Alright. The roaring and spooky stuff. I don't know what it is making those roaring noises exactly, but uh, I imagine I'm probably going to have to get in a scrap with it at some point. We'll see. during that cinema to do the polite thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so is this where I want to be? Yes, this is where I want to be. So, yep, heading up the wall as I thought. That was pretty funny. At least to me. I'm kind of a nerd about stuff like that. Oh, corruption! I don't think this tower is too stable. Oops. Oh, hey, warrior. What's up? Push him into the pillar. You want to give him a back rub? Just do it. All right, I guess we can try that. Let's uh, back him over here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Why don't you come over here? Yeah, come here for a sec, buddy. Buddy. Oops. No, that didn't work. No, that was not the ideal outcome here. Right, now I got him right up against the pillar, though. Let's see if I can hit him. Ooh, no, that didn't work. Ah, screwed up that button press, too. Shane has really weird buddies. He's my body, buddy. Roll under him. Back him up. Back him up. Oh, come on. Am I not aimed just right? Game. I think I got him. Come on. Get him into the pillar. Oh, I either hurt him a little bit or made him mad. Oh, I hurt him a little bit. That actually touched his health bar. I'll take it. Hey buddy, why don't you come over to this one? We wouldn't do the same trick right twice, would we? No, that'd be crazy. Who would even imagine that? The same trick two times? I can't even fathom it. Oh, no. It's really difficult to time those, uh, the rolls to get through his legs like that. That works, now he's lined up just right. Oh. Ooh. Now he's advanced a little bit. Ah, oh, he's out of position. I think it'd probably be easier to lure him back there. Ooh. Nope, nope. Oh, he's closer now. Oh, I got him. Gotta push him back a little bit more. And... Ooh, pillar number two. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty stupid, but uh, that is to my advantage. Hey, buddy. Could you even imagine, could you even dream of a scenario where we try that three times? Oh, that's, that's just insane. That's preposterous. I wouldn't even entertain the idea for a moment. No, no, we're, we're going to have a straight-up fight now. Just uh, you and me and swords, and it's all going to be great. It's all going to be cool. And no, no trickery involving towers or anything like this. Honest, probably. Ooh, no, got a smack there. Oh no, we're trying it a third time!
that get him? What now? We've run out of pillars. Oh. He stumbled at least. Hello? If I die, I don't want to get squished under rocks. People like me this shape. Girls like me this shape. <laughs> How many gods have you made angry? Let's just get out of here. I think that means all of them. That's how I'm taking it, at least. How do we get out of here? Up there. We can get out of that balcony. Let's get out of here. All right, balcony it is then. I think you're going to be short one tower very soon. Now this tower is uh, not taking a beating, and apparently de destroying support pillars is also not a very healthy thing for the tower. Who'd have thunk it? I can see why people didn't like the combat too much. It's pretty much a quick time fest. There's some variety in it. As far as uh, how you want to play it. We have to go up to the fertile ground. All right. Oh jeez. Our oh, tower is collapsing on us. This is this is bad. We broke it pretty bad here. Sure, sure. But yeah, you're, you're right, that is uh, almost certainly one of the reasons people didn't like it. Like I said, this game is in a lot of ways simpler than the other uh, Prince of Persia games, from what I understand. That's it, keep praying. Keep praying for both of us. <laughs> it's very generous of you to risk my life for your god. <laughs> so snippy about everything. Now, unfortunately, since we haven't purified this place yet, there aren't any uh, light seeds, so we're probably going to have to do this route again later. Oh, I see a platform up there, though, so we're getting somewhere. And around the corner. Oh, nope. Ooh, that was close. A little closer than I would have liked. All right, still going around the tower. Oops. Oh, come on! That was an epic series of bad button presses, my bad. Keep going! Does it look like I'm going to stop? I was stopped right there, to be fair, but... Alright. Making progress, but uh, if we gotta get all the way to the top, this is gonna be just a teensy bit dangerous, I suspect. Oh, jeez! Speaking of teensy bit dangerous... That parkour! Yeah, I love stuff like that in games just because conceptually it scares the crap out of me. Probably because I have a fear of heights. But uh, still, that was fun. And... We made it! Fertile ground! Oh no. Whoa! Oh crap, come on, dude! That explains why the tower is breaking. Um, Alright, we can fix this. It's cool. It's cool, we got this. Gotta do some sliding now. And some wall running. And then more sliding. We got this, no biggie. Now see, this is a long sequence and you'll be penalized pretty bad if you fail it, but still, I'm enjoying doing it. It's got a nice rhythm to it, I think. Oh, there we go. This is crazy. I agree. Oh, no, 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 no. Just a little short there. And now we gotta start the whole thing over again. Oh, man. Still, like I said, I, it is fun. I'm not gonna rescind that. Those backgrounds behind, uh, outside uh, the tower look really uh, impressive, but I can't really get a good look at them while I'm platforming. You guys will have to let me know if they look as cool as I think they do. Grab this one, jump across, and double jump. That's a long jump. And get this one, 
I'll wait till the very last second so I get enough time to grab this. Alright, so we got all the way up there, and now we have to go down to get uh, to the fertile ground. Oop. Oop, no! Oh, please don't tell me I have to start the whole thing over again. Son of a bitch. Such a tiny mistake. I was right there, too. I just had to get around the door instead of dropping over the door because the game decided that was too long to fall and would have killed me. Alright, last try here. We got this. No worries. At this point, uh, I'm old hat at it. It's like an old friend. It feels comfortable sinking into it like your favorite easy chair. No worries. Jump across. Jump across. Double jump. You ever have that? A puzzle you've done just so many times that whenever you do it, it's actually kind of comforting. Like, oh yeah, I remember this puzzle. I'm old hat at this puzzle. This puzzle was hard once, but now... Now it's almost comforting. Alright, so we go through this gap in the masonry. And then we'll slide to the side so we can get all the way to the ground. And there's the fertile ground. I hope it's not damaged. Only one way to find out. I mean, it sure looks messed up, but uh, looks can be deceiving, I guess. And we're good. So that's area number six we've purified, I believe. Making good headway. Making very good headway. And there are some light seeds to have. Shall we get out of here before Armaz drops his own tower on us? Of all the people for Armaz to send, why did he send you? Me? I wasn't sent by anyone, Princess. Oh, you just lost your way in the desert? You just lost your donkey? You just arrived here? If Ormaz really wanted to help, he'd have sent a thousand people. He'd have sent an army. Sometimes all it takes is the right person. Okay, you keep thinking it's your god, I'll keep thinking it's really bad luck. There. And there's our way down. So, let's go ahead and pick out our next area, because next we have a pretty long trek ahead of us, honestly. Um, I think I'm going to take this way over there. Let's, uh, let's head to here, then we'll head down here, over here, right there, and up there. It's still going to be a long trip, but uh, I think we'll be able to grab a few more light seeds on the way there. Oh, it doesn't let me select it as a destination. All right. Um, I guess I'll see just which way the game wants me to take to get over there. That's fine, too. All right, so I presume... Ooh, she's not giving me any navigational hints. That's not good. All right, let's grab all the light seeds in here, and then we'll just uh, start traveling, I guess. See where the wind takes us. We might actually need to get out to the purified areas to get uh, some navigational help to get into the next area. We'll see. Alright, a couple of light seeds up here. 146. We're doing real good at collecting those things. Yeah, she doesn't seem to want to point me to the new area, so... Let's try selecting something different on the map. Uh, if you can get us to here, maybe? Oh, I can teleport! Holy crap! Alright, that makes things easier. Of course, I didn't grab pretty much any of the light seeds back there. Can I teleport back then? I can! Sweet! Alright, I didn't realize I could teleport between areas that I've already finished. That'll make things nice and easy. Well, not easy peasy, but uh, save me some time, I'll put it that way. I appreciate a good time saver. Alright, so before we take off, since we know we can teleport out now, then there's no harm in just uh, exploring around and grabbing some seeds. 
We can just leave whenever we feel like it. I'm down with that. 150 already. That is impressive. Ooh, wasn't sure where that was going to take us. Still not sure where this is going to take us. Oh, this is this is a death spiral right there. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, I don't think. That's not good. I figured there'd have to be somewhere to go that way, right? I was wrong. Is there anything out here? I keep seeing this one light seed over here, but that looks... Oh, all I have to do is grab onto that. I thought that was going to have to drop off and take a death or something to get that one. I suppose that would have been a little silly if that was the case, honestly. But still. Alright, so how do I how do I get out of this one? You got me. Oh, no, I think I see what I need to do. Alright, let's take the hit. And I think I'm just on the wrong wall is all, maybe, right? Let's hang from this. And then jump across? No. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> I can't hang from here, can I? Help! Oh, nope, I just drops. <laughs> I thought I had it. All right, we'll have to see if we can jump corner-wise, maybe. I think I can do that, right? Nope, I cannot. Oh, shoot, how does the game want me to get down this one? I'm sure there's something really obvious I'm missing here. Let's check around the tower, see if there's something else around here that we can take to get out. I don't think so, though. Still couldn't hurt to take a look, right? Yeah, especially if there's more light seeds just around the outside of the tower. These will be nice to grab while we're in the vicinity. And like I said, I could just teleport out oh, to the next area, but then I'll miss pretty much all of the light seeds here, and uh, we're going to need those. We're going to need those eventually. Again, you don't need every light seed to complete the game, but you need a decent chunk of them, and the more you get, uh, the quicker you can get to the end as well, if that is a thing you want. And yeah, I think that's something I'm not entirely opposed to, if nothing else. All right, let's try this again. Slide down here, but there's nowhere to go. We jump, and then double jump, and we're over here, but there is still also nowhere to go. Weird, weird. Let's see there's a, a light uh, seed right down there. I've actually got an idea. Can I... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to see if I could drop down there and then do an Elica jump to cling to that side. No, it doesn't seem like it. The game really doesn't seem to want me to take that back wall, but that seems like the only way to get down. The only way to get down. That yeah, game really, really doesn't want me getting on that back wall. That's nuts. Huh. I might just have to teleport out and then come back here. Try to go left while sliding down? That's not a bad idea, Derzak. Try that. Oh, son of a bitch. I just slide around. <laughs> I just slide around the corner. God damn it. Of course it was something simple. <laughs> Thank you, Derzak. I would have been there all goddamn day, let's be honest. Alright, so I've only done two of the four areas I unlocked, and I'm actually really close to having enough light seeds to unlock more. And that is awesome. I think that means I'm keeping a pretty good pace as far as seeds are concerned. Alright, so we're good here. So, where do we need to go next? <laughs> Appreciate it, Durzak. Alright, let's check over this way, it looks like. I see more seeds, that's always a good thing. Even if it's not the way to go. 
Now that I know I can teleport, it doesn't really matter too much where the way is, I suppose. Oh, no! Ah! I suppose that means I'm not going to be moving quickly enough through here. Too slow on the, uh... Too slow getting to that, uh, Elica jump button. There we go. Nope, nope. There we go. I just barely made that one. You see, if you make that jump late, then she sort of, uh, spirals you up through the air to get you back where you're supposed to be. Which is nice. It sort of explains things in a nice way. Nope, oh, I was trying to aerial attack and then magic him. Ooh. Hit him at the edge. And one hit. Ooh, good deal. Alright, I see light seed over here. That's promising. Go for it. And more roaring. That is really spooky. 167. We're almost there. That is really awesome. That'll just give me uh, two new areas to explore, really. Basically freebie areas, if I'm uh, understanding right. Alright, cool. Oh, and we're back where we started. Did we just make a big loop? I think we might have. Alright, so where else can we go here? Can I grab three more while we're in the vicinity? I think if we go this way, we might be able to grab a couple more. Alright, I want to get that one. I see how to get it, too, I think. Whoop! Oh, just barely. I'll take it. One more. Oh, I'm hyped now. And there's one right there, too. Oh, it's on a downward slide, though, isn't it? All right, we can take the, the pole right here, though. That'll work. Hello, delicious light seed. Don't mind if I do. And we've got enough, 171 now. That's awesome. And push to the edge and finish off. All right, so now we can actually unlock some new areas and I think we're probably gonna wanna do that, uh, if not immediately, then very soon to give us some more options. Uh, since we can see which areas have been purified and which areas haven't, and that will give us a leg up for uh, exploring. We could, it, at that point, like I'm saying, uh, it doesn't really matter which area I... which order I explore the areas in. I can just hit up the areas I want to go to. And that is badass. Yeah, we are doing good. Alright, I think we've got a good chunk of the light seeds in here, so we can go ahead and teleport back to the temple. Oh, we can't teleport there. All right. So let's teleport back to here and we'll navigate back to the temple. And I think that way we'll also be able to grab some new light seeds. Or I can't teleport to that one. Why can't I teleport to that one? I was teleporting before. Strange. How did I teleport before, but I can't now. Oh, do you have to be standing on? Oh, I mean, you might have to be standing on the fertile ground. I hadn't thought about that. Shoot. Alright, that's cool. We can navigate back there. Show me the way! Alright, we already came this way. That's cool. I'm cool with it. Oh, that's- no, that's not the right way. Elika, you killed me! Or, you know, my own stupidity. But it sounds better if I blame it on her. Makes me feel better. <laughs> Alright, let's jump across here. Jump across here. And then just continuing down to the little arena spot here. And then off this way. I don't think this is the path I took last time, right? I think this might be new. A new could mean more light seeds. I do like that. All right, let's jump this. Do some more sliding. Always popular. Ooh. 
This looks dangerous. Why does this area look spooky and dangerous again? Have we not purified this area? Oh yeah, we might not have purified this area actually. Right, this is one of the in-between areas that we haven't purified yet. I get you. That's it. All right. And this is the way we're going to get back. All right. I'm fine with that. And then once we get back to the temple, we'll unlock some new areas. And then from there, we'll see where we want to go next. But we'll have options. Well, I do like having options. Going up from here? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, buddy. Ooh, that didn't work out well. Ooh, that didn't work out well either. Not having spectacular luck here. Ooh, didn't quite get the deflect like I liked either. I was hoping. Ooh. No, no deflect there either. Ooh. But luckily that puts him closer to the edge than I am, so maybe I can use that to my advantage. Or not. Oh, he is a tough old bastard. Long combos, too. Oh my god. Every time you think you're at the end of those combo, he's got more. But we got him. And I see Light Seed over there, and I am tempted by it. Is that the way we're going, though? Luckily, that is the way we're going. Like I said, this is a path I don't think we've taken before, so I was really hoping there'd be some more Light Seeds here, and sure enough, there are. Always good to grab a few more, even if we're already at, uh, however many we need. Oops, no, not that way. To the side. And then jump. Ooh, that was a close one. And we're just heading down this path still, and then over that way. Alright, this way I think we've taken before. Yeah, actually, I think I recognize this way. But that's fine. Oh no, we're heading over here. I don't recognize this path specifically. We've definitely been in this area before, of course. Because we already purified it. I really like that the game uh, has such a big visual distinction between areas you've purified and areas you haven't. I think that makes uh, it more interesting going through an area after you've already done it the first time. Plus with all the corruption gone, sometimes you don't even recognize the areas after you've been through them the first time. That's pretty interesting as well. Alright, yeah, no, we have been over here before, definitely. But we are going the right way. So let's just keep on keeping on. Where from here? Hello? Oh, I suppose now that I'm here I can teleport, can't I? Maybe? No, I can't. <laughs> but this was my destination, so I suppose that makes sense. Alright, where are we going now then? Over this way. Probably should have just seen if I could just select the temple from there. Oh, you're than you look. But I was too busy thinking about teleporting. Hold on. I don't get how I managed to teleport that one time, though. I'll probably have to look it up after the stream, see if I can figure it out that way. Clearly, there's a mechanic here I'm not fully grasping. Well, that's okay. I'm still having fun, and I'm still making a shitload of progress. Like, seriously, we're getting pretty far into the game tonight. I'm very much down with that. I am very appreciative anytime we can be playing a game like this and, uh, just getting far ahead. You know, big progress in games like these, it has a big psychological effect. It makes you feel nice. It's the, the whole carrot and the stick idea. And right now, I'm getting carrot. I like some carrots. Carrots are amazing. We'll do anything to get those carrots. I would kill to get those carrots. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Alright, we'll head over this direction next. And double check we're going the right way. We are? Cool. 
Alica jumped that one. I remembered that actually. And after Alica jumped this one as well. And maybe this one too. Alright, cool. And then from here we head this direction. How do we get over there? Oh, I see the ring in the wall now. I get it eventually. Takes me a little time, but I get there. That's the important thing. Alright. Should be very close to the temple now. Thank goodness. And yeah, those other areas, I don't think it would have been worth our while to go straight to them anyway, just because it would have been such a long trip to get to them anyway. Uh, it's actually a shorter trip to come back to the temple in this case. And, uh, you know, maybe unlock a better sequence of areas for us to explore through. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Oh my god, what are you doing? There we go. Little dance on the wall there. What was going on? Alright, here we go. And temple bound are we. Where's that tree? Right there, right in the center. Alright, so a new mat will unlock another four areas and will give us a new new plate to pay, uh, play with in uh, some of these areas as well. Uh, so I believe it'll even make some areas we've already been to a little more interesting, but we're not going to go that far back just yet. Not if we don't need to immediately. We might have to later uh, to go searching for uh, a few more light seeds just to scrounge up, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, jeez. We can stop this. If you come, if you help us heal the land. Uh oh. Father, no! Well, another boss fight. Oh, I kicked his ass once. I can do it again, right? I'm feeling it. Yeah, it sure doesn't seem much tougher than the last time. You're just a dumb old man still. It's kind of sad at this point. Oop. As he gets distracted by the horrible corruption on him. Oop. Get too cocky and think I can uh, attack faster than him, but you never can. Nice, little magic to the face. That was creepy. We don't know what he'll do. Yeah, he did kind of trigger the apocalypse, that's true. Really stopping us is the worst he could do at this point, and he doesn't seem to be doing very well at that. If only I could do those things without those plates. Just think of the places you could break into. <laughs> I think the term is tomb raiding. Glamour's reclaiming of the past. <laughs> nice excuse there. Or have just picked one power and stuck to it? It reminds us of our humility. No one man is to have that much power. That's what the texts say. Personally, I just think Ormaz knew mankind too well to put too much power in one man's hands. Possibly. Possibly. How will you get your people to return here? Spread the news. Let them know that Armin is held safe. Their duty calls them. I've been thinking about that for a long time, and I don't have anyone to answer. Only hope. Alright, that's fair. You should tell other people about Armin. Get some help. <laughs> now who's being naive? You tell people about Armin, people are going to want to stop him. And how many others would come to free him? To seek the gifts he promises? The two of us might save this land from a god, but we aren't strong enough to stop men. Not on our own. True, cynical, but true. Are you okay? Why do you think your father sold his soul to- He hasn't! Corruption is eating away at him. Then that can happen to us? Not while I have these powers. Good deal. Immunity. I like that. You said your father had been acting strangely. Maybe Armin got to him before this. My father is king of the Ura, a follower of Omaz. He did not sell his soul to Armin. 
All right, if you say so. People can do all sorts of things when pushed. We saw your father start all this. My father's judgment, his thoughts, have been clouded since my mother died. But what he did, he did not do for Araman. If Araman was controlling your father, it could be good news. I mean, if he's mad, he's mad. But if Araman's using him, then healing these lands, maybe you can bring him back. Maybe. There's some optimism, roundabout. So this will show us which areas we can enter now. Yes. There are four powers, and each of the fertile grounds is protected by one of them. This shows us which of these powers does what? Yes. Each power is linked to four fertile grounds. We will need all four powers to heal all of the grounds. And we're making good headway. Alright, that's all she has to say. So, let's go ahead and grab the second one then, shall we? With the power from here, we could access fertile grounds in the Citadel and in the Royal Palace. Alright, so let's, let's figure out where we want to unlock next, shall we? Um... Alright, so this is the tower. And this is the construction yard, so it would actually be kind of cool to get the other two places in the tower and then we could just finish that place off, right? Yeah, let's see which one will unlock more in the tower. That will allow us to enter fertile grounds in the City of Light and the Royal Pa- This will let us enter fertile grounds in the Citadel and the Vale. Did none of those say tower? I don't think any of them said tower. That's... Wait, am I missing something? Oh, City of Light. Alright. So that one just called Tower of Aramon, but this one's called City of Light, so... I think that's probably what I want to do. Let's find the one that said City of Light. That will allow us to enter fertile grounds in the City of Light and the Royal Palace. Alright, there we go. Get this one, then. That little hop of excitement. Woohoo! Let's try this. Alright. Time to do some more uh extreme parkour. Oh and now we're actually flying. That's a little disorienting. Oh wow! Looks like she's magnetically pulling us somewhere, actually, but still, very disorienting. Oh, man. Alright, but that made it. You can actually see some more areas below us, but uh, I don't think that's where we're going right now. You know what it is that I ask. saw that doesn't mean it will be true the vision of you falling Armin's trying to the visions aren't from Armin but they don't have to be true no one can tell you the future I, I don't think she's convinced but uh there we got enough seeds to move on you can kind of see they got a nice map here too which is pretty interesting all right so where do we want to go next? Go ahead and pull up the map. And yeah, we unlocked the rest of uh, this place. So let's go to the... Uh... Ah, Alright, so I see it says City of Light is the subtitle. So yeah, that's what we wanted. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head over here then. Still can't teleport again for some reason. Oh, I hit the... God damn it, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's a, I have to hit the yellow button to teleport. It's right there. It's literally written right there. Oh, I feel a little dumb now. We're good, though. We're good. <laughs> we figured it out eventually. Slowly, painfully, we're learning. All right, so now we're only a hop, skip, and a jump away from where we do need to go. Just got to do a little bit of backtracking, and we're good. 
And you never know, with some of these paths we might still find some more uh, seeds that we missed just by virtue of not traveling that direction. It's always a good reason for backtracking in this game. Oops. Not there. Over. Sometimes you gotta make sure he's looking in the right direction before you jump. Otherwise you can get into some troubles. I see a blue plate off in the distance. I don't remember if that's the uh, one we just did. But that could be where we're headed. We'll see shortly. I'm heading over this way anyway. Going the roundabout path to the uh, right hand way now, I think. Yep, just heading down this way for right now. And then along the wall, it looks like. Oop, nope. Eh, it didn't quite work out. Oopsies. I was lucky, actually. Totally didn't have it under control. He's lying. I caught him. You caught him too, folks, right, didn't you? Yeah, you saw. He's up to no good there. Alright, so there's another baddie this direction. Oh, damn it. Come on. Nope. No, that just made it worse. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh, and we go all the way back here, too. Yeah, I think I'm not going to be fast enough to prevent that guy from despawning. That's just a hunch. Jump over to here. Oops. There we go. There we go. Just hit the button a little too early last time, I suspect. Nope, nope. Wrong button. I always do that, too. There we go. Aw, oh, come on! Countered my counter. That's no fun. And you notice that does do damage when he throws me, so that's not just a freebie by any measure. There we go. So I can counter his counters, too. I didn't even think of that before. Ooh, definitely something to try. I just want to get him near the edge for the easy kill. And boom. Button mashing wins the day. I love it. Alright. We're probably close. Or at least close to the trail we need to take. So let's head over this way. I hear more roaring. That's probably a sign we're getting near to the uh, warrior. He does like to uh, roar angrily at people. Or me at least. Maybe it's just me. It is very possible that I'm the only one that pisses him off enough that he starts roaring. I don't want to rule that out. Alright, so we made it to the hub right here. What's up there? The Tower of Araman has been abandoned for a long time. I've never seen what's inside. Well, then this is a great time for you to find out. All kinds of new experiences. All right, going up the pole and then jumping over. That's cool. We'll have to climb that column if we want to reach the plate. Sounds like a plan. If we climb up to that beam, we can jump to the plate from there. Yeah, I heard you. I got gotcha. you. All right, I see. So then we uh, do a little roof run, and that should get us there. And we're good. And we're flying. Just for a short ways, though. Still, this gets us to a new area. Doesn't have to be too spectacular. Lots of corruption in here, though. That's unpleasant. Ah, up that wall now. I just saw the closed door, and I'm like, well, well what do you want from me? Alright. I'm up here. Jump. And there we go. Nope. It was almost disastrous. Seems to be the theme of the night. Almost messing things up. Still, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to get you there, I believe. Hello, this is an interesting looking contraption. Where do I go from here? Just over, I guess. That looks like it's supposed to do something. Maybe I can uh, check it out after I fix the corruption, possibly? 
Ooh, or maybe we just have to use the ring thing. Oh, all right. I see what it means. We should be able to reach the ledge on that wood now. Sounds good. This tower is a bit like Armin. Run down, forgotten, and difficult to figure out. I love it. And we're climbing. Thankfully, this tower is run down enough. There's a exposed uh, rebar we can grab onto everywhere. It'd be a little inconvenient if there wasn't. I think if we turn that crank, then we can line the ledges up to where we need to go. As simple as that. It is if you trust me. Ooh, all right. I see what she means. Uh, let's try it. Oops, no, not that. Ah, uh, how do I interact? There we go, the claw button. And then... We did it. Hey, I did it. Ha! I gave you moral support. That's ridiculous. Ready to go? Yes, definitely. Trust you completely. <laughs> Sounds so convincing. Let's jump for it. This seems super dangerous. Alright, where do we go from here? Up or down? Are we going up? Maybe? Anything up there? Oh, there is! Sweet. It's an interesting climb here. And we're going over next, it looks like. Ooh! That could have been disastrous. Once again, could have, but wasn't. Sorry, sneeze break. Alright, let's continue upwards. Sneezes. Can't ever have just one. Oh man, I didn't used to have uh, seasonal allergies. It's just something I developed as I got older. Ooh. And isn't that a fun thing to have? We need to find a way to go up. Thanks. Thanks for that. Also, the close talking. Thank you for that. Oh, I see. Alright, so it's just an extension of the last puzzle. We gotta get on the other side, I think. Or we'll do the same side. Alright, I think this is what I need, right? Maybe? No. I think I see what I need. No, nope, not that. Back. Alright, so the directions you have to press on the controller are relative to him. Oh, there's a lever on the other side, too. Alright, I see what I need to do then, I think. I'm gonna need to turn this more than once, is what I'm seeing. Alright, I think that'll get me where I need to go. Hopefully. Guess we'll find out. Or I can cheat, I suppose. <laughs> or maybe that was exactly what I needed to do. Who knows? I'll take it either way. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, so one of them control. Oh, that's tricksy. Dang it. No, that's right where I need it, though. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Alright, cool. I accidentally the puzzle. Over we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. There we go. Gotta remember the correct way to cheat is all. <laughs> Alright, then I will run over to this one, which I turned to this nice right angle. Going up to this one, sideways, and booyah, puzzle solved. That's a nice satisfying feeling. And there's the pad over there, so let's run for it. 
blast away the corruption and fly for a while. Seems cheaty, but hey, who am I to judge? Was that the fertile ground? That might be. And of course, our old friend, the warrior. Alright, so no pillars or anything. We just gotta get him over to the edge. Luckily, there's an edge right here. Push him or pull him. Much more efficient to pull. Oh! Oh, that went badly. My bad. Still making the same mistake I made in the other fights, trying to, uh... What I need to be doing is blocking before I counterattack there. That's a good response there. I think we might have got him, maybe? It's close enough? Yes, close enough! I actually got to see him taking the fall this time. That's satisfying. Alright, one more place purified. That makes, uh, seven, I believe. Not bad for one night's work. And plenty more seeds to start on our next target, which I don't think I saw the next target number. We'll check now. Certainly going to need a lot of them in total to get through the game. Progress is progress. <laughs> hey, Araman! This isn't your tower anymore! This is my tower! Can I have my own tower? You know, maybe with an inscription? Nothing too fancy, just Tower of the Savior of the City of Light. Oh, and a few priestesses dedicated to its upkeep. And mine. <laughs> if you stay, all this can be yours. Yeah, sure it can. Let's go and save your city. It's a nice offer. And of course, healing the path for some reason gives us magical new parkour paths. Getting up here was tough enough. How do we get down? We go straight down. That sounds dangerous. Every seat. So 340 is needed for the next one. That is a big number. But luckily we do have uh, a whole bunch of areas to pull from. So we're going to have to do a lot more exploring before we unlock the next one. But that's fine. Um, all right, let's go ahead and target the next area. Or no, we don't need to. We just need to explore around a bit and then we can teleport to one of these areas and take that way up to it. I think that'll be fine. All right, yeah, so let's do that. Let's uh, do a little exploring for seeds first, and then we'll see where we want to go from there. Any other seeds up here before we head down? So they're not going to want to come back here for a while. Oops, nope. I was thinking I could slide over to that cross brace on the side, but not quite. Alright, here we go. We just had to get to the slide. And then more going straight down. I see what she means. Now this one's a little crazy. This is a, a lot of fall in here. Me and uh, my lack of love for heights would not be doing well in this area. Not like I'd be doing well in a lot of these other areas. I'm not exactly built like the prince here. Those, uh... Rippling abs and pecs, but uh, you know, I, I, I can do some things. Alright, so there's actually something to grab onto here. So I assume I have to crawl over to the wall? Yeah, and just slide down from here. Alright, simple enough. Alright, so let's explore around a bit here and get some more seeds and then move on. What's the catch? What catch? This city can be mine. What's the catch? No catch. He doesn't believe her. You want to give me a city. If we save it, this city can and will be yours. Now I figured it out. Congratulations. What have you figured out? The whole give me a city thing. This is you saying you want me. <laughs> Admit it. You want me to stick around. That's why you want to give me a city. If that's what you want to believe. 
can't even say it, can you? I would like it if you stayed around. <sighs> All right. All right. I see what's happening. Does he? I don't know that he does. An A for effort, but I don't know. I remain unconvinced. All right, a couple seeds around the outside here. Around the outside, around the outside. And then I suspect we'll just uh, head into the tower itself and see if we can spot any from there. Take whatever path that leads us on. And then delicious, delicious teleporting. Make sure I can... Yeah, it looks like I can teleport from anywhere now, so that's good. I don't have to worry too much about that. We need 155 more. Whew. Not screwing around here, game. Not screwing around. All right, I see some right below me, so let me slide down to those. There we go. And then we get here. We can just slide straight down here to grab these ones, right at the base. Nice easy ones, I like that. And then I see some more straight this way, so let's go ahead and check that out. I think there might be some sliding involved, so we won't necessarily be able to come back, but that's fine. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of sliding involved. A whole lot of sliding going on, one might even say. Mostly just me. I have to be pretty dorky to actually say that otherwise. But that's me. Gotta be who I gotta be. So I wasn't able to get those ones the other way. I don't think I can get them from where I am either. So I think we're good here then. Oh, it actually says how many uh, seeds you got in every location too. That's handy. Yeah, I missed a whole shitload of them here then. All right, well, that's good to know though, and we can always come back. Just go ahead and hit this one up then. And, you know, wrong button. This one teleports. Oh, yeah, right. You can only teleport from somewhere you've healed. Alright, um... What else is there to explore, then? I think this way might take us backwards. Let's try that. I know there's more seeds in there, so I kind of want to go back a bit now. Oh, here's some right, here, right off the bat. More roaring, again. I wonder if that's an old trigger from where I was fighting the boss that just uh, hasn't quite figured out to shut off yet. That'd be kind of funny. Oh! Nope! Oh. That was almost dangerous. And by almost, I mean absolutely was dangerous. Try that a little earlier. There we go. Probably don't even need her to get across, but uh, my lean jumping can't hurt. It's like he's hugging the pole out of terror when he jumps out of that, uh, that low. I kind of like it. Alright, so I'm in the tower area. Oh, I see some more seeds over this way. Let's explore then. More slides, that's fine. I think. Maybe. Yeah, we should be able to handle this. Booyah. Climb up from here. Good deal. Alright. I feel like this is probably the way we came in originally. What plenty of seeds to grab. Oh, oh, missed that one. Damn it. That sucks. Go. Can I go back that way and try it again? Maybe there's some over here too. That's the way to get that one? I think it is. Let's find out. Oops, no, that is not the way. This is death, as a matter of fact, is what it is. We have to keep going. Oh, I gotta go up. Dang it! I think I feel like I made that mistake the first time too. Or at least I did somewhere else where I just didn't look up. Puppies never look up. It's my cross to bear. Like what can I say? Right, let's jump that. And Wall run. Ready. All right. 
I see some more already. I like more. Yeah, we're right there. I get to that one. Aside from just derp jumping out and taking it. Nope, nope, I've already decided on derp jumping. Oh yeah. And I survived! Sometimes maybe the derpy strategy is the correct one. I suppose. I have to take that to heart. Alright, there's a, just a ton of them. I can't turn down that many. Look at that. That is awesome. I see more corruption up there too, so not totally out of the woods. But I do think we've grabbed most of the seeds in this area. At least most of the ones we can get to real simply. Oh, there's that one I missed over here too, isn't there? Yeah, I think I can make another play at grabbing that one. Would like that. One less uh, loose end to worry about, at least. Oops, no, no, no. Wrong button, sorry. Try that one again. Alright, cool. There we go. Oh, maybe this uh, wasn't the area I was thinking of. Shoot. Well, I do see another light seed this way, so... Ah, oh, but it's uh, coming towards me. I can't get uh, onto that slide from right there. Maybe if I take this path, I can get back over there. Oops, nope. Alright, maybe not the path down into the water. I meant the, the path up where you grab onto the thing. I was in the ballpark, though. You can't blame me for that. So let's see what's around here, shall we? Whenever you see one of those paths, you got to think there's one way that'll take you up there. Alright, so this isn't the path I was thinking of, but there are light seeds, and that's really all that matters. Alright. And I think I can get up onto that ramp if I turn around here, can't I? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That might even be the one I was thinking of that I missed. No, no, why are you doing this? Oh man, I must be getting tired. It is almost uh, near the end of the stream, but we've still got a little bit to go, so I'm not giving up just yet. Nope, that's the oh, wrong God. direction. <laughs> Definitely getting tired at this point. Uh, not like my jumping is going to improve once I get some sleep, but I'll hopefully stop being uh, quite so derpy. Uh, making very silly uh, decisions. Or which buttons to press at which times. There we go. Alright, redeemed. Alright, 208. Not a bad grab at all. And I can't see any more light seeds from where I'm standing. Uh, still only 25 of 45. There's still a whole bunch here. That's interesting. But, uh... Yeah, I think we're ready to move on, so let's go ahead and teleport to here, and then we can walk to the next area from there. And again, uh, since that's a path we haven't taken before, there might be some new light seeds to grab along the way. We'll see. Ah, and we're heading down here again, the wall that confused the holy hell out of me. Not always the best at puzzle solving, ladies and gentlemen, especially when it comes to physical ability. Alright, where does she want me to go from here? This way, it looks like. I can do that. Luckily, the uh, platforming segments like this, where you have all the momentum to move forward, at least there's only one path. So you don't have to worry about... Uh, accidentally getting confused while you're trying to keep your momentum up. You can just run, and that's nice at least. Oops. I completely lost my uh, momentum, lost my focus, and went the wrong way. Oopsies. I'm really going to have to stop pretty soon. Clearly at this point, uh, my fine gamer dexterity is getting affected by how tired I am. 
And don't jump, just let myself run up it. Whew. I got a deflect in there, but I didn't realize I got a deflect, so I didn't uh, actually get to capitalize much on it. There we go. Oh, I need deflected my deflect! There we go. Deflect battle! Come on! Ooh. Oh my god, these deflects! This is ridiculous! Alright, I'll get you up against the wall if that's what it takes. Come on! There we go. Close. Boom! One shot kill. Ooh, alright. Where to next? This way it looks like. Alright. Can do that. Still more warring. It won't be too long now before we get to finish off the warrior. Since we're uh, rocking our way through his area. It's going to be interesting to see what the final fight against him actually consists of. Ooh, I see new Light Seeds, too. Just as I hoped. Good sign. Every little bit helps, because we don't know how many we're going to need for the end game. So, just keep collecting. This is the way I just took. Oh man, I must have gotten turned around in there somewhere. I bet it was up on that platform. Oh no, now she just wants me to take this bath. Alright, that's fine. Got a seed out of the deal, I'm not going to complain too hard. Oop, no, that wasn't quite far enough. I think I still must have uh, jumped a little too early there. Alright, I think we're just going to get to the next area and then call it. How does that sound? Nope! Oh man. Do I need to wall run at that point? We'll see. Nope. Didn't need to wall run, I was just jumping too early is all. There we go. All right, still going this way. I thought not understanding was part of the whole faith and God thing. They, they do things. You don't know why. It's a bit like dating. It's a cynical view. You're on a mission from God. I get it. It's not a mission from God. It's my mission. Ormaz is part of this, but this city is to do with me, my family. Is there anything left here? Armin's redesign efforts aside, it feels like this place was falling apart already. The city has faded. It may have crumbled, but our task remains. While there is still one Ura here, Armin shall not walk free. Alright, fair enough. How many people were left here? In the city? The people had gone. When Armin grew stronger, the prison weaker, the people left. You saw all of us that remained. Dang. Just those guards at the beginning, then. You built the city of light? In a cave? The light shines brightest in the dark. That gets a lot safer when a dark god is trying to kill you all. <laughs> safer. I suppose. If you don't count deaths from high altitude bat droppings. Ew. Alright, we're good. Continue on. Let's see what's down this way. Will the fertile ground still be there? With the state of the city. It's still there. I can feel it. Huh. Door's sealed up tight. Ooh. I've seen a few security setups in my time. This beats them all. It's a black gate. It guards the lair of the corrupted. If we want to drive them out, we'll have to get inside. How do we do that? Weaken their hold on the land. Alright, so this door I bet opens when we get all the fertile grounds in this area. What's behind the black gate? When they ruled this land, each of the corrupted had a stronghold. If we can weaken their hold on the land, the gate should open. Then we can finish them. Finally kicking the warrior's ass once and for all. I like the sound of that. What happens when we open this? I don't know. I've never been inside there. Not helpful. Did you ever get curious? Uh, 
about what was inside? I used to imagine all sorts of things. Treasure, other worlds, lands full of other children to play with. Well, let's hope that is what's inside. Yeah, all those sound nice. I'll take those. Alright, where to next? This way, this, that, I don't think that's a jump I can, oh, alright. Like, I can't make that jump. It's like a mile long. Alright, we just need the blue plate. Let's take this thing back. Alright, that's a little easier. Try to jump that, I think. I think we just found another way to get killed. Is this ever going to stop? Not until Aram is stopped. When the corrupted are pushed from this city forever. Let's go on. Alright, if that's what it takes, we will brave more tentacles, I suppose. We're going to have to go through those. Yeah, unfortunately. Just time your jump right. No point winning this city back if you're not alive to see it. Good way to put it. How do we get off here? Over there. Alright, this time is just Where right. Now? The roads have gone. We'll have to use the walls. Insipid. Sweet. That works. Alright, so run over here. Do we just coast the whole way? I think we might. Oh, no, no. A little too soon. A little too soon. Jump to the gun. My bad. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, all right, I didn't see this down here. That makes it a little bit uh, more saner to get there. All right, wait for these to pop out one more time, and then we go. Boom! Of course, naturally doesn't take the nice direct way. But that's cool. If we gotta go through a few more tentacles than I expected, we'll do that. Nobody ever died from a few tentacles, right? I don't think so. Oops, nope. Unless they're a little slow on the jump, I suppose. Yeah, no, I messed up. And that just makes it worse. Oh, well, I got the, got the momentum in the wrong direction there. Ah, oh, shoot, now I gotta start from back here. Yeah, so it looks like uh, where the game auto-resets you to is on solid ground. Until you get there. HD Kappa, beautiful. There we go. Enjoying the failure there, Radio. It is kind of your thing. Not the failing, but watching me fail. That's my thing. The constant failures. All right. This plate, and that gets me over to here. All right, come on. Where's this one gonna take me? Solid ground? Solid ground. Maybe. No, this isn't solid ground. I can't time this. That's cruel. Come on. Oh my god, this is a long way down. I timed that pretty badly, but we're going to have to make the most of it. Come on. Oh, crap. Always good to hear. Oh. Whew. Oh, come on. Another big, long-running sequence. Through the tentacles. Not through the fire and the flames this time. Just the tentacles. Oh, and we made it. All right, how do we beat him this time? All right, so we lure him into there. I'm down with that. No, that didn't work. Got a little too close. Alright, so this time I start with a block instead of starting with the uh, attack. There we go. Roll through his legs. No. Oh, shoot. That didn't work at all. Come on. There we go. Knock him in. Oh, that wasn't close enough. 
Man, I thought that was close enough. Oh. Ah, shoot. Had to get saved. Press the wrong button, too. We got this, though. Let's try that again. And we were so close to getting him in there that time, so... I think that's a good plan. Back him into it like we have been. Let's see if we, how deep we can back him into before this becomes a bad idea. Alright, got the counter. Come on. We got him up against the wall. I think this might be it. Just gotta push. Ah, screw you, you big ugly. Alica, you wanna hurry with the healing? Yeah, let's do the healing quickly. Healing good. Let's see how he likes getting healed all about the face. And he bailed. Alright, if he can just teleport out, why didn't he just teleport out and back into punching us in the face? Oh well, if it didn't occur to him, I'm not going to give him any ideas. <laughs> That's all four areas of the tower purified, then. He's gone. You had a cage in your city square? <laughs> of course. How do you think we scared our children? Good, or you'll go in the cage and Aram will get you. What? For real? <laughs> animals in it for market, you idiot. <laughs> you had him go in there. Well, when you rebuild this place, you should build a few more of them. It came in handy. The city is gone. It was gone well before now. Then what will you do? Right now, we have to take care of the present. And that starts with us getting out of here. The Black Gate is open. Is that a good thing? We can enter the Corrupted Sanctuary. And once we heal the fertile ground there... There is no fertile ground. The essence of that place will rest inside the Corrupted. And they're just gonna let us take it. <laughs> Much more of this and I'm gonna have to stop and sharpen this sword. Is that a metaphor? I can't tell. Where's this Black Gate? At the top of this region. Yeah, where do you saw it before? No worries. So the black gate is open, just like that. I can open it when we get there. All right, that works. By the black gate is open, you meant it will be open once we go there. Aramin can no longer take the energy from the fertile grounds here. The gate will open. You must have a plan for what you'll do next. Do you? I'm not the planning kind. Maybe I'm learning from you. Probably not. How many of you were there here? Before Arm? Two hundred? Three? They've all gone over time, drifted away. When the city was in its golden age, there were thousands here. The houses lined with marble, the gates shining gold. Then the city faded. The marble was sold to feed the people. The city died. The people left. All that remains is legend. Depressing. All right, that's good. So let's grab the seeds in the immediate area right here. Those two, in other words. So now we're at 212 out of 340, which is not a bad number at all. So, go ahead and save. All right, and I think that is going to be it for us this evening, folks. This was a very, very productive stream tonight. I got... Uh, Wow, what is it, eight areas purified? Not bad at all for uh, night one of the stream at all. I'm uh, very happy with that. Hope you guys appreciated watching so far. Uh, as you can see, it's not a super duper long game, so uh, I don't know how long we're going to be playing it. Maybe, maybe two more streams? If I was to venture a guess? I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm kind of feeling right there. So if you're enjoying, please uh, make sure to hit follow right now so you'll see when I go live again, which will be tomorrow at my usual time. You can see that in my info below. Or if you prefer, uh, I will uh, throw some more links in chat for you to use instead. I'll start by linking my Twitter, which is another place where I can notify you when I go live if you prefer. And I also post when I do nerdy things on there. Got a link to my YouTube as well, where I archive all of my streams if you want to see anything you saw again or want to check out some of the other games I've played. 
I'm also going to throw a link to my Discord in chat. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me outside the stream, that is the best way to do it. And feel free to do so. I always like chatting with other viewers, and you can chat with some of the other viewers in here. Uh, we talk about all kinds of things in there. Might interest you, so feel free to check it out. There is basically no risk. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my support links in there. If you ever feel like going above and beyond to help me do the things that I do, maybe just a little better, those will show you the best way to go about doing it. But don't feel obligated, because one way or another, I will keep this stream going. So, having said that, like I said, we are going to wrap things up for the night. And, uh... I'll get some rest, be back tomorrow night after I have uh, hopefully enjoyed my weekend. Fingers crossed, anyway. So, let me just, uh, oh, shoot, hang on just a second. I want to see if there's anybody else's live, and maybe I can throw somebody a good host. If anyone uh, interesting is uh, currently streaming, that'd be nice. Let's see. Just logged me out of Twitch for some reason. I had to log back in. I'm like I was in my uh, control panel this whole time. I'm pretty sure I wasn't uh, completely kicked out. That's very weird. Yep, I see somebody to host already. Let's go host our good friend Zero. Good friend of the stream and a good person overall. So, let's uh, take a look at what he's doing. He's playing Darkest Dungeon right now, which is currently his uh, weekend tradition. Uh, it's a very hard and very dark, um, sort of a roguelike, uh, sort of a RPG. Pretty interesting. Feel free to check it out. But if you don't want to, got other places to be, or it doesn't interest you, then I will just go ahead and say, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world, and I'll see you folks around. Take care of yourselves.